and we are live. Hello and welcome to the Root Winter Tournament 2023, round one, game six. We have some wonderful players today. Their names are Jeremy Gage. What up? Walrus Law. Hello, hello. Harriet. Oh. And Ice Rayer. Hello, hello. Well, everyone, you know where to find me if you need me, so good luck and have fun. I will let you get started. Oh, I forgot to update the overlay. They're yelling at me. Yes, chat, I will fix the overlay. All right, I think that means I pick map now, right? I'm a dingus. I got caught up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you start with that. I need the group confirm before I do anything, including all of my turns. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> let's see. I... Sorry, chat. I will Winter map. look at the factions in a moment. Let's see what's going on over here. Let's do. I get spooky. Let's do autumn. Ooh, we haven't had autumn yet this year. Milesers. It's a pretty we balanced map. This map's the right way. Last time I played this game, I was looking at it the wrong way and not paying attention and did not do the right. <laughs> Sheesh. All right, let's see here. All right, chat, did I miss anything obvious? So ruins, just to put me going to show, ruins are here. Can't do that. Here. Yeah, where the R's are in the squares. Yeah. Here and then here. Yeah? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, 10, 12, 11, and 6. Is that Does that mean a first Vagabond pick? <laughs> Maybe if I had the right the other hand one. for it, but uh, <laughs> yeah, fortunately, I think I'm going to have to do something different here. Uh, what yeah, this is... But uh, I think I'm going to have to shoot I didn't gears. even look. I'm going to go with the... I'm going to go with the moles. Moles in fourth seat. In every Vagabond draft. Makes sense. That is spooky. How often we've been seeing Thief. Do, 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 do. Popping in. Moles. Uh, Colonel, thank you so much. For the six months. That's very kind. I like that. Six months for game six. That's cute. Okay. Let's see. Where do moles want to be on this map right now? Hmm. Going for the top. It's heavily protected, so that makes sense. Doesn't give us a strong spread of suits. Typically, this is a better setup position when you can stack things into clearing two and have uh, two different suits or try and migrate into suit clearing two if it's a better suit or something, you know? This sort of lizard idea of how you do it. I think I am good to go. Okay, give me a second. I wanted moles. <laughs> disruption? Yeah, might have no bunny. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Opening strategy, disrupt on pick. Don't forget your uh, VP marker. Uh, I think it starts automatically when, when we click the start oh, game. They get pulled okay. up, yeah. Yeah, yeah, Cosmic, I screwed up the overlay. I, Can I, try I like, I ran through the pregame script so smoothly, I was so proud of myself, I'm starting to get it down, and then I was like, oh, sh I completely forgot the overlay. Enemy number one, no other faction selected. No. All other choices made to counter mole. Holy shoot, Anonymous Gifter, thank you so much for the seven gift subs. Wow, thank you so much. Also, let me know. Um, I adjusted the. Clearing is five. I adjusted the, the decay on the um, side chain compressor on the players. Let me know if I'm overlapping with them or if they're overlapping with me too much after I finish talking or things like that. Oh, theory. Okay, makes sense. Probably the 
second strongest faction left in that draft. Is this the second time Eerie's been in the draft so far? That feels... No, we had we had two Eerie games already, right? So this is the third? Because Nev went Eerie, and then someone else went Eerie, right? I'll be honest with y'all, the, the games are already starting to blur in my head. <laughs> I'm trying to hold on to them, but... Yeah. They very quickly become indistinct. My computer's being really slow, so... Yesterday was unusual. I hope it doesn't become a, um, a precedent. I do think it was a really interesting game, though. We're going Despot, actually, I'm noticing. Not the Charismatic I would have anticipated. I'm just putting my words out, but in that I'm... Decante was the area in game two, thank you. Lily, thank you for 300 bits. The bottom corner. So there they are. There they are. Yeah, Dan's. It's it's the safety despot in case cats don't get drafted. It's gonna hit the moles. Granted, you could have, if you have the right cards, you could have stacked double move. You know what thinking? You and uh, gone into clearing one. You know. Duh. <laughs> Excellent <laughs> question, my guy. Uh. I mean, I almost think that any hand could be a Vagabond hand, you know, if you just try hard enough. <laughs> but uh, I don't know. I, I usually don't really think about that until I know what my options are, honestly. I don't, like, play with a... I would love to what? be the moles, right? Jesus, I love the cats. I don't know if the cats... Oh. Uh, well, I mean, it's not... Even if you chose to cast, not your job to please. I was just gonna say that, like, based on how far away these two already are, there there's gonna be a, quite a few early number of turns. Do you go commander? Like, no one. I went. Ooh. With yeah. no, like, it, like high entanglement chance, at least for like the first. You gotta hit. You gotta hit moles first. Times. You have to. You have to hit the moles. So without just, the ability to right. connect there. I agree with that. We gotta hit moles first. Uh, wow. <laughs> I mean, we woke up this morning and chose violence. That's why we play Rune. <laughs> I woke Agreed. up a long time ago, sir. I woke up a long time ago. <laughs> That's true. That's true. Yeah, poor Walrus is playing at like 10 p.m. his time. The power to do that policing, right? You can make whatever choice you want to make, but that's something to consider. They're very far away. They don't really need to like push in on each other if they don't want to. And then it's a it's a race from there, right? You know, no one loves the birds and moles. No one loves that much. Cats are really fun if you can get into that mindset. They're, they'd probably struggle, you know, against a mole's despot game, because mole's despot is just who can raise points better, you know. Either way, Let, I trust you. Let's let's go, Vagrant. Vagrant. Oh, so spicy. Vagrant, really? Maybe we're going for an age strat? We gotta be going for an age strat, right? Ooh, I actually think that's a really interesting choice. And then, then we got burbs here. Burbies. And we got some crotty. I can't even see that vagrant. Where is it? And now. Oh, we put out his VP marker, not the not the meeple. Mm -hmm. 
Dan menjelaskan dengan ajaran permission saya. No. And that is everything. How much do you think the vagrant pick is is angling for the hope that cats get picked? Because you don't want to be a feeding cards to the duchy, of course. Oh. And you can feed cards to Despa a little more, but you still don't. I'm. You know, love it necessarily. <laughs> I'm thinking very hard about this. Vagrant is the instigate one, Bay in the Bay, although it's probably better known for being the best uh, vagabond for the aid strategy. I have some thoughts. Oh, a gamble based on draft alone would be interesting. It's true, JC. One winner. I'm going to do the thief. We're going to double vagabond it. We're going double VV. <laughs> Oh, oh no. It's never fun. Whoopsie. I was trying to save my camera angle, not do that. Thief. Bink. We'll start in the same forest, because that's cool. All right. Oh, I got to update these factions. I'm slacking on the overlay today, no, we folks. Go. So now that we've selected our forest, we should have our quests out as well. Yeah. Think. Think. Cool. Vagrant. Uh, then I put this up here. There we go. An unchosen faction is cats. I think that. There we go. For me, though, quests yeah, are yeah, out. Me. I put my ball out. Ruins will pro populate. Oh, I need relationship markers. Yeah, where's the vac? Oh, yeah, there's no vac population. So. Uh, uh, Garrick, I'm just going to apologize to you and all of your viewers. <laughs> I don't mean to, to be cursing a lot. <laughs> I'll try to keep it in check. Get this! <laughs> Jesus that is, Christ! <laughs> that's, that's me. I'll make sure. I'll keep it. I'll keep it. Uh, what is it? PG 13, you get one F bomb, right? <laughs> <laughs> PG 13 is a good guideline. <laughs> We want to consider some movies. Are you, you going to? Are you going to use it for all of us? I don't know. Maybe we. Maybe oh we, yeah, that's right. Maybe we, maybe we, share the one. I mean, we all I know how big chat is. So I think at this point we draft our hands and then we hit the hit the start game. I think so. Yeah. Can't. God. Oh my God. I'll say, expel bandits is a pretty cool quest for um for thief. We just give a speech, also kind of. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I don't know which is best. Meow. Uh, and then I will hit start. We all feel good? Oh, there we go. That was like so, a, uh, there's a question. I feel good. I'm just good at Birds still have to draft their hand. A.K.A. Yeah. Take for a while. Mm. BB, BB, Birdie. And the reality is the, uh, uh, what is it? The MPAA is all made up nonsense anyway. It's just a bunch of weirdos who have, who, who judge things completely erratically depending on their personal biases. Those, there's no hard rule of like one F bomb per movie or anything like that. Maybe. Swearing's not a no-no per se, although it's probably better that we begin. <laughs> not go over the top with it. Oh, and I guess you can't swear in the first, like, 15, no, 30 seconds of a YouTube video anymore. You get demonetized or something. I, re I remember seeing the ProZD video about it. That shuffled. All right. I think that's it. Good oh, luck. Yeah. Have fun, yeah. everybody. Oh, Okay, first turn. I'm going to slip. All right, we're starting at clearing 10 for our ruin tour. Garrick, 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 could I have, uh, could we have hidden zones for the Vagabond ruin search? Poor favor. You absolutely can. I am a dingus.
Give me just a moment. How often are you going to run into double Vagabond games? Apparently back to back. <laughs> All right, let me just double check those. Uh, exhausting. Oh, I didn't flip it over yet, but I will be exhausting this torch. All right, I think you are set to go. Okay. Uh, if I hit the two, how do I reveal these and then unreveal them? Wait, no, 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 I can peek them. Never mind, never mind. Two, then one. Two, then one. Pro ZD guest commentator win. You know, Batmaster, I was tempted to reach out to, um, uh, what is it, Tom Brewster from Shut Up, Sit Down, um, last year, because he'd expressed being a big fan of Root. And I was like, has anybody in the Root community ever actually, like, reached out to him and be like, hey, you know, there's a... There's a whole like tournament scene maybe you'd be interested in checking out in some way. I never did do that because I'm a coward. I will pick up a sword. No, I got overwhelmed with the tournament and just needed it to be over. We couldn't we couldn't handle organizing something like that. That will score me one point. Bing bong. What did we pick up? The ruined sword? All right, we could complete that quest right away. Sometimes I move too fast in my turns and then I definitely miss points. Like we're in a mouse clearing for the expel bandits. We could do that. Battles. No, not in this clearing. Not possible. Moving? Am I doing movement? Uh, not particularly. I don't think so. Cool. And... Sword. <laughs> I don't know how... I don't know what the... I don't know if the sound comes through exactly the same for you guys as it does for me, but I just heard Walrus whisper, just like, sword, <laughs> you know? Positions where I can't even aid you, and I would love to do that. I think that's legitimately going to be it. I think you should take, <laughs> you, you should take those two swords you and your smalls. I think that's what you should do. Oh, yeah, I, I, I don't feel like that's... <laughs> hey, I, I, mean, I, I, I picked moles. Okay. So the targets there. Have we, right? have, we, have, we, have we just like not paid attention to the yeah, last, like, <laughs> all the games? Yeah, 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 yeah. Like literally, you have to hit moles from turn one. I'm just and you're in the best position to do it. <laughs> oh, this is all true. God, look at this energy. Look at this energy. It's great energy. It's great energy. Of is going to make us fight moles. I am the patron. Yeah. <laughs> here's something I'm here's something I'm spooked on, right? I don't want to get I don't want to get bonked with an ambush, get put in the forest, right? I, I just don't think for me, turn one, I don't think it's incredibly worth it here. Well, I don't think moles are willing to like waste an ambush. Turn one, they need to get everything running up. Get everything up and running. You have two swords and a boot. You can just roll over there, smack them, get some points in the board. <laughs> if anyone doesn't know, Walrus Law is an incredibly skilled player. He uh, was one or two of our Corvid wins last year and made it to the semifinals, if I recall correctly. Uh, he is a master of above the table table talk. So this is going to be a treat. Of all the items, there's a chance that the Vagrant picks up a sword as well and can make the can't option. take out one little... clearing of moles like you can right now. That's the thing. You have two swords. Oh, you God. you chose violence. How about that? I haven't chosen violence yet. I'm just hanging out in number 10, sipping on some tea. You know what I mean? All right, That's all right. the narrative. What is it? What's uh, the name? Want to be Arbiter over here? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Opening Arbiter with the tea. Crazy. Uh, no, no violence today. Only only because I don't want to risk taking two hits here today and then being trapped in the forest. Although I do, listen, other other vagabond, vagabond friend, I would love to play for first and second rather than second and third. I think that we can do it. But to, this turn is not that turn. I take I take root like I take Metallic Ignite. First or last. So. <laughs> hey, I'm saying we can fight for first or second, and you can still come in first. Yeah. You're, you're the... Uh, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You mm -hmm. play the way you need to play. But I think that is going to be it for me no 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 at least quest this turn no mm. you're in spot to expel bandits you have the tea and the refreshes oh i'm so sad so there's no hammer in there or you have chicken we also didn't draw cards i don't think right 
That's what we all think. Right. Did we draw a card? No, we didn't draw a card. Is what we, all we forgot. Listen, I'm looking for the ploy, brother. I don't know what it is about Vagabond, but that is like the most consistently missed draw faction in, in the game. That would be a crazy <laughs> strategy if he left the hammer there. But I mean, hey, crazier things. This makes you take the three turn jaunt. <laughs> I'm playing a crow's game while playing the vagabond. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so we're gonna go with Miana. All right, so we're starting at the opposite end for for Vagrant's Ruin Tour. So I take these first, both of them, and then two reveals them. Yes. Correct. Yeah, they should. Two reveals and then one will hide them. I'm going to the hell that is. Oh yeah, it's one of the of that type of rune item, right? Like I can't Ooh. double up on double rune swords. Right? Ooh. Ooh, good choice. Hell yeah, brother! Look at that hammer. Good opening play. What's that other rune? I'll tell you what's in this one. <laughs> uh, Colonel. In double vagabond games, people will very often go on opposite ends of the ruin tour in order to guarantee they have maximum choice as long as possible, you know? So I get the two items, two items, so we're gonna do this. then have to get the, the scraps. First I get a point for the ruin item. Point. Because you're more likely, like the first person to hit a ruin is more likely to take the good item, you know? So may as well stick to untaken items. Or I've seen some people like, if first Vagabond went to 10, I've seen some go to like 12 to cut off the ruin tour, you know? Is this clearing here? All right, sounds like Vagrant's crafting a T. Just yeah. needs to get to the right spot for it. I'm sorry, fellas. I apologize for that. Bay in the bay, yes. What is this walrus doing? Uh, get the T. And coins should go on the track. Good mention, Punk Starman. It's not even a choice anymore. Joshua Yearsley saw reason, and he changed the rule. Although it hasn't been reflected in the official errata doc or any official laws at the moment. So it's like a weird Schrodinger's ruling change. But hey, he said it. That means it's official, right? That is it for my turn. So I'll draw two cards. Okay, real talk though. Getting that T as Vagrant, very, very good. Getting like one T as Vagabond means your, your baseline engine is set. You're probably not going to just flounder and die. Double move? As in probably. <laughs> Flounder. <laughs> yeah, where's our magic card, BB? Come on, leader games. Okay. That's all I'm going to add. Oh, that's great. Awesome. Just a move. Okay. What do we got? Where are we going? Over to seven, perhaps? Or heading up to one? Poor guys here. Hmm. Okay, interesting. So we're gonna like block out a building slot for moles. Not that I expect moles would actually build in one, but it also maybe is just to deny rules so moles can't easily move out from there for sway potential. They still have two giving them access to either another mouse or a rabbit, which is in essence the same thing, but it's interesting. For one point and draw one card. Sick, sick play. So now we'll see you still. Oh no, yeah, nice. That's my turn. Uh, Versus, yeah, there's, you could make an argument for going for like a double build, um, a double build uh, despot play on this. I think the fear would be that you just become fresh meat for the vagabonds who would just start farming like your, you know, one to two warrior plus roost clearings for, for points. But it's probably a better way to race moles than a, a no turmoil despot. 
right, pretty standard recruit and move. And I will sway these. Yeah, double VP again. <laughs> we got our Bridget, though. This is the first Moles game of the tournament where we saw the traditional Bridget turn one, right? Bird card. I think everyone has done like four mole or, or something so far. Crafting, I'll take my card and pass my turn. I'm a little surprised we kept a Saboteurs, given we had to discard it. Maybe we had too many bird cards or something? Yeah. Refreshing. Bing. We are going to slip. And we're going to explore. Why is Walrus Law playing the Vagrant? <laughs> because he wanted to. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if you had three bird cards, I would have expected to take Eerie. We did it. Because, I mean, I think... Back. And... Moles versus Eerie, both are pretty strong picks. Then we're going to make a movement. Over here. We're in mouse. I'm going to graph this root T. For All right. Mm -hmm. All right, we have both T's crafted by turn two, right? We're on turn two now. Then I'm going to exhaust both of these swords. All right. Meet this quest. Now we're questing. Still would have preferred to see it last turn, but better late than never, I suppose, if you're not going to battle, you know? And then I will draw well, first this. Boom. What do we get? Dynamite. Errand. That is very good for Thief, I think. We have an extra T, basically. Hmm. We have a boot. Mm -hmm. Okay. And... Yeah, if you don't take moles, next player will, for sure. So it's really a question of, do you, would you rather have the better hand... Exhausted, eating the rest. Or the... Two cards for the quest. I guess slightly better faction in this mix. And then that's my draw card for end of turn, and I think that will end my turn. What did uh, Ice Ray reveal to Sway? I missed it. Uh, oh, I, I will not divulge the secrecy of. Well, I know. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not asking you. <laughs> Uh, I think Moles. Did you reveal? Did you just run? Can you keep a log for that for me? <laughs> uh, sandbox. I think Moles. On the board here somewhere. I think a Moles eerie game. Moles win that race sixty forty. You know. Vagrant picking up a boot from the ruin. It was a Saboteurs for the bird card, Cardinal. But yeah, Fox Ambush. Uh, I remembered it was a craft bullet. I didn't remember it was a bag. And then uh, Saboteurs. Oh, what did we just... Oh, we just crafted the Anvil. Okay, okay. I'm starting to see why uh, Walrus maybe went Vagrant. Hell yeah, brother. One thing that's nice to see is neither Vagabond is currently snowballing in items. Like, one person got the extra T, one person got the hammer. Yeah, you know, things are things are at relative parity for the items. Which means both of them are going to be threats still. Sometimes in those double Vagabond games, you see one just, like, get all the good items, and then the other one is just like, well, I'm here. Thanks, Lord of the Board. Yeah, so far reception has been pretty good once the tournament actually started and people saw it in action, which I'm glad about. Questing. Getting that quest done. That's an interesting choice. 
have a vagabond problem when. <laughs> uh, double hammer doesn't doesn't excite me, but well played. <clears throat> I think this is kind of a cool denial of the quest right there. from the other Vagabond. <laughs> and we took the point, notably. That's just how the cookie crumbles. You took the points, not the cards, right? Yeah, yeah six points. Okay. Okay. Logistics help. Neither Vagabond has a bag yet, correct? Correct. I also like taking the point there. We're Vagrant, we have a coins already, we don't need the extra card draw unless we're digging for something in specific. Going to... All right, Corvid Planners in Recruit. Corvid Planners is actually a pretty cool craft for Eerie, particularly Despot. Um, but getting getting a bird into Recruit is pretty cool. Right. Craft false orders. That's interesting. Crafting false orders. Oh, we all know where that's going to be used later. Exactly, because we know where that's going to be used. So that's just an, a ling it's just a lingering threat hanging above the hanging above the the head of the moles. False orders will also help offset the um, the weaker policing potential of the despot. It means you have to, when you have to actually get some policing done, you have fewer warriors to burn through. I think it's a pretty smart, proactive craft. You know, I mean, it's the best freaking card in the game. <laughs> we who we can. <laughs> I don't need to tell you why false orders is a good craft. <laughs> Draw. Too. Yeah, and especially with the saboteur in the discard, like good crafts just got a little bit better with one saboteur saboteur burned already. Play again. I put one in the burrow. Is there a game scheduled for Sunday night? I think it's Sunday morning, Sunday afternoon. I'd have to check. Where's my calendar? Sunday morning, Sunday afternoon. Yeah, 7 a.m. and 12 p.m. Eastern Time. Twice. I use Brig to move twice. I'm gonna move two guys from the Fox clearing and one back to Burrow. Okay, I like that. We don't need those extra warriors there anymore, so we're pulling them back to the Burrow to protect them. I will use that. these cards to sway. Conserving your warriors as moles, so important. All right, Smuggler's Trail, Ambush, and an Eerie Emigre. When would you prioritize an early citadel? Rarely is my main answer, Toughest. Um, I would do it. Was it? Was it game two? Score two points. Where I actually thought it was a viable opener. It um. Thank you. Like, if you think, uh... Refresh. Bing, bong, bing, bong, bing. Export any craftable card in multiple times a turn. Bing. Uh, well, Otis, I feel like there might be some implied things in there that make me concerned. Um, you can, you can export any craftable card assuming you can craft it. Mm -hmm. Which means if it's an item that is not in the supply anymore, you cannot craft it. Uh, if it's a 
if it's a persistent effect that you already have crafted, you cannot craft it because you cannot craft it, you know, normally. I'm going to exhaust uh, and you can export multiple times. It's just every time you are choosing to, I'm going to fully craft the card and not take its its uh, effect. Double check I didn't goof this up. I didn't. I will grab this boot. Um, I think we're around three, right? We have three ruin items. I will use the hammer to craft a bag. For All right, picking up a bag. About time we needed one of those. Discard that. Although that should be on the track, of course. What are our quests looking like? Logistics help? Maybe we left it in there because we're going to logistics help. Leave that there anyways. We're in a mouse. Oh, no, I can't. God. Cosmic, you cannot export items no longer in the supply. Yeah, Otis, you can totally export something you don't otherwise get benefit from. Thoughts, 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 thoughts. I'm located here. I'm going to. I think I might need a new mouse. Boot to move. All right, we are not doing logistics help. Up here. I'm going to exhaust a sword to aid. <laughs> All right, friendly aid, friendly sword, aiding the birds. Here is your card. I was just about to say, we haven't really had any aggression against the moles yet. A little bit of soft policing by denying rule from one, but nothing overt. And we're really getting to a point where we need that. I think, I think that's going to be, I think that's going to do it for me. Yeah, I draw one. They might go four. Or make go four. That will be Welcome. Turn. Okay, okay, okay. We are going to refresh a T. Refresh boots and refresh our torch. Yep, no crafting this. Or we still have one hammer, don't we? I forgot. To slip. I can't tell if that's clearing 11 or the forest. To move. Must have been 11. Actually, it could be either. Uh, Miko Four game yesterday was a little bit cursed. If I remember correctly, this is like all right. Uh, Vagrant getting its bag. Very good. Points. So yeah, both of these vagabonds really stabilizing. Their um, their items, their item engine, so to speak. These items are getting eaten up, brother, by the, um, by the people who need them. <laughs> <laughs> That's spooky. Aiding the malls. What, brother? <laughs> cool. Aiding the moles without turning hostile. I have concerns. Draw two. I have to expect to some extent Walrus is intentionally propping up moles as a target so that Walrus can um, uh, avoid heat, you know? Discard one. Was Scoundrel picked in the tournament yet? No. It showed up once. 
Chat can correct me if I'm wrong. We haven't seen keepers show up yet, weirdly enough. Crap. Not not even just not picked, they've not shown up yet. The only faction remaining that hasn't shown up. We we haven't seen a few vagabonds, but like Yeah. They are in the mod. I did not remove keepers. <laughs> All right, so yeah, notably, we are putting a fox card into the recruit column, which means we are officially, like, turmoilable, to, to butcher that word. We do have three fox clearings, and we clearly were setting up for this from turn one, I want to point out. So Harriet's been planning this in advance, which is pretty cool. Uh, but it's still... Yeah, vulnerable to turmoil would be the intelligent way to phrase that. Thank you, Still Soto. Uh... <laughs> But it's still theoretically a danger. I don't know if it's practically a danger because who's going to actually come police us? Yeah, if exactly. If the table collaborates to turmoil the Eerie, something has gone wrong. And we've picked up the four... I, <laughs> all right, maybe the joke I say now is that this is... um Is this... Is this setting up for a fox dom? <laughs> Is that also why we got false orders? <laughs> what was our move? 12-7, I think? Decisions, decisions. Endless. So many cards in hand. So much to reveal. Because <laughs> actually... You know, I said it half-jokingly, but it might legitimately be a dominance play. The, they are most viable in, in two VB games, double Vagabond games. Moles are not a great person to stop a dominance. And the earlier you do it, the less action economy they have to do something about it. We do have Brigadier and Mayor now, so that's less true. And we have enough warriors in the borough. We could easily stop one clearing. Can we stop two clearings if we go for a four clearing dominance, though? I don't know. At the very least, it seems like we may be setting it up as a fallback, which is very cool. Discard. What are we doing? Digging? To six. Okay. So it looks like we're trying to set up shop in clearing six, a two-slot bunny clearing. Taking advantage of Vagabond being in the game, removing that ruin. So those are my two actions. I'm now onto the ministers. We don't have four mole at the moment, so we're not building this turn. We're probably trying to get a lord up so that we have both our um, noble protection before we put out buildings, and so we can score for the buildings with the lord the turn we build them. Walrus, is there any any reason I shouldn't give you a a double tap here? I'll give you two cards next round. <laughs> I'll get myself two points next turn for sure. <laughs> I'll make you next round. Yeah. <sighs> we do have only three cards. That's right. I forgot. As far as possible. I forgot we had bird cards turn one and turn two. Uh, that definitely throws off our. Um... Oh, it's because we spent one to dig. That's why I thought we were fine because we got one from aiding, but then we spent it to dig. Uh, but yeah, the the clearing numbers are the same as the bot priorities. They are they are exclusively added this year for the purpose of communication and for commentation. Well, Commentating? Pretty good incentive yeah, to come had, down and slap that. Haven't many issues. Yeah, you haven't had many issues swaying. I know I have the false orders, but I don't have anything in battle. And commentary. Thank you. Uh, where you're positioned, I'm not going to be able to put anything in battle. That's going to be helpful for me. Uh, so, um, I mean, I think until I get better card draw. Uh, I I won't be able to hit anybody for a turn or two. Like, again, so like I said, like, you don't hit me this turn, I'll give you two cards next turn, right? But uh, you're also looking at the ability just to outrace the Vagabonds really quickly with your moles. 
the biggest problem you're going to have is be, can you outrace a vulture? Yeah, an uncontested burby. Uncontested burby, yeah, exactly. So. <laughs> Yeah, I realize my position well, is you're not the vagabond. Everyone at least once. So. The the vagrant's not the vagabond with the sword. So I mean, as long as that's you correct, the, va the vagrant is still undefended. Contest. It's it's the it's that, and then he has only one boot. So you're talking about kind of keeping yourself safe from the vagrant a little bit until he fixes that issue. Mm -hmm. But. I understand. I understand two cards, as as the moles. Yeah. Yeah. Card card draw is the bane of my existence at this point. Uh, especially with false orders on the board, right? Because any place I set up, you just pull half my people out, right? So unless I'm amassing my entire army in that clearing, it's kind of a moot point. Right? Yeah. Well, it's it's more insurance. It's oh, fair enough. I, I mean, yeah. I mean, there's really no well played for sure. There's um, no reason to. False orders, yeah. false orders. You want a despot, right? That could be a future. Like, if a switch to charismatic or commander comes out, then that's like when false order seems more advantageous. But right now, I think it's infrastructure for the birds. Like they're uncontested in the south, so they're just going to build wherever they want to, and that's not something you're interested in stopping at this time. So I don't think you have to worry about the false orders right now. They also don't the really have the warrior count to to do that. If they don't have higher warriors yeah. and then switch to a more battle hungry leader, then uh, that's not a good mid game. <laughs> that's a potentially not a good mid game. I mean, but even and I have being two swords. You can come fight me, but we're losing moles and people together. <laughs> we're both coming out swinging. Uh, Pat, I believe Vagrant is the one leading on the points track, right? The white VP marker is two hammers is pretty is self. Is Vagrant? That's coins for them. I can't even make coins. That's not an option for me for the rest of the game. Well, you're next. You're next. Yeah, that's what I thought, Punch Starman. Thank you. You're gonna, this is the moment you're defenseless at this point. That's correct. This, this is tough. I mean, uh, yes, you can hit me, and you'll probably knock me in the woods. But all you're doing is putting me like a turn behind, and you know that the area is farther than me next turn. So, I mean, the two. If you really think that I'll outrace you in the end, which we know, yeah, go for mm. it. All right, I'm gonna. All right, so I'll use my uh, brig for two two moves. Interesting. We just dug into clearing six, and now we're going to leave it behind so we can police Erie, it looks like. Hmm? Hmm? That's a... Are you battling clearing three? You may, you may be... Yeah, I'm going to battle... Yeah, sorry. I'm going to battle the clearing three. So I use the brig to move one guy out of the burrow to reinforce the tunnel, and then pull mm -hmm. four guys from six to three and I'm going to use Mayor on the break for two battles and clearing three. Mm -hmm. Oh, good. Uh, any ambush? I will, I will not ambush. All right. You won't use the one that you have, right? right. And I mean, I'm going oh, like, to hit like a typical mole's player, so... Uh, <laughs> and still win. <laughs> <laughs> See, that would have hit the Vagrant. Uh, any ambush? That's no true. ambush. Christ Almighty. It's moments like these where I remember the BGG threads that are like, has anyone tried playing Root with the dice that are like one to four? We don't like the zeros. That did nothing. <laughs> uh, I will use these two cards to sway. All right, there it is. We drew Coffin Makers, and that's why we pivoted to sit in Clearing Six. We want to start setting up for that Coffin Makers. I don't think that surprises anyone, but good to see it. Or now we know, I should say. Playing the captain. 
Yes, we did not hit Vagrant. We specifically went after the Eerie in clearing three. I don't know. That was, yes. Yeah, it was coffin. Yeah, that was coffin makers. I don't know if Ice Rayer or anyone else at the table is aware of Vagrant Age Strats. A vagrant currently has no swords and cannot be made hostile. You know? <laughs> Thank you. I chat, I do agree. I don't think coffin makers is very good in this game. I would not I prioritize it. <laughs> the Ruined. only death bomb today. Did I oopsie? Just force chat into emote only mode now. Yeah. <laughs> or else we demonetize this game. <laughs> yeah, sir. I I meant anyone besides Walrus is aware of the age strat. I know Walrus is aware of it. Slipping, slipping, slipping. That's probably the other reason that Walrus chose to do the Ruin Tour from the opposite end, to make sure that he always had the choice to not take a sword when possible. Because mm, 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 mm. it looks to me like he probably went into this with the idea of doing an age strat vagrant. Mm. I feel like we need a catchy name for that. <laughs> okay, I think... I think I'm gonna do Vagrant. That's not bad. Bam. Bada bing. Bag raid. Vag raid. I think I like Vagrant more. Okay. I'm going to slip. I slipped from one to nine. I'm going to Craft a boot. Yeah, that's that was what I I was concerned about, Katari. Vagrant is one of those ones that might work better text only. Then I'm gonna move two yeah. times, exhausting two boots. Boot, yeah. boot. Now we're heading heading over to clearing eleven to explore to pick up that last set of ruins. You didn't realize there were two ruins here, lol. I'll take the only one I can take. All right, picked up our ruin bag. <laughs> that gets put over here. Then I... Then I'm going to exhaust a bag. Yeah, I think we just missed that explore point. To complete this mouse quest. Which, what do I want to do with that? Have I uh, we're not in the same clearing as Vagrant, everyone. Vagabond number two has scored one point. That was the boot. I need one more for the ruin. So All right. There. We, we, corrected the, uh, we corrected the point, miss. Draw two cards. It's not a. I would also take the point yes. for the record. Two cards. I would 100% take the point in this situation. Uh, that's it's a. Pat, that's a hard thing to track. Um, oh yeah. Yep. Go ahead. Because sometimes missing a point means that you get policed less over the course of the game or something. Then you know. I am going to. I think that brings me to my evening. Let's see, I'm not doing any battling. There's no one I can aid here. Just running the numbers. We're gonna go evening's rest, not a thing. Draw one card. Uh, Gregula, it hasn't been... Um, capacity, eight, 
eight with the bag that's still unexhausted. I will only be able to unexhaust five items next turn. Nobody has challenged it yet. I would rule that the ruling is official because it came down from Josh, even if it hasn't been put into the errata doc or anything yet. Uh, if only because there's been plenty of things in the past that never made it into the errata doc just because Josh doesn't update it very frequently. Um, but I, I would consider it an official ruling at the moment, so I would enforce it if asked. This. Uh, for anyone unaware, the... That's gonna be me. The rule up to this point is that you may freely move track items on and off the track, which can be used specifically to manipulate your satchel size in order to discard an item you don't want, such as a sword, specifically a sword. Uh, I convinced Josh to change that, but the ruling, the updated phrasing for those rules has not been reflected in any current version of the law, nor in the errata document online. Uh, I would still consider an official status ruling, even though that's not the case. Slip over there and prevent him from getting three points. So the the current rules as as of that ruling are that when you get a track item and it's unexhausted, it must move onto the track. And likewise, when you exhaust it, it must move off the track. There's no free movement of items on and off the track anymore. I'm not trying just to yeah, negate. No, no, I, I see. I see the the dilemma you're in because you you have a good point. And like this is a very very. I don't hate VB. So there's got to be some way of. The problem is that it also. My problem was not actually the ability to drop swords. Do what you think is uh, is the best. Right? It was that it also opened up weird angle shooting plays, like dumping all your track items into your satchel to make your board state confusing for your opponents between turns. You know. What am I gonna do? Is he just gonna like? Smack me around, isn't he? You did. I mean, I wouldn't mind seeing some vagabond on vagabond violence. It seems like a good, <laughs> some good violence. Thing to go about. I'll let you guys beat, beat each other up. On guard, brother! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Punk Starman, you can still manipulate it. You can still force it by... Uh, Pockets in. by doing things and that's how people played it for a long time it wasn't until last winter tournament where we actually realized that the rule was you could just freely move it uh it's me the most i mean jc Greer, it is an update to the rule like josh actually changed the the phrasing of the word in the in the law it's not just a ruling he he rephrased the law um well i need the need the boots to i can't move i need to slip <laughs> oh, I see. You're in a dilemma because yeah, um, I, I lost my train of thought. Oh, yeah. The, the point was that it was a little degenerate to be able to do it freely without actually having to you could burn, well, play around the, the normal track movement uh, as people played it. And again, it, it opened up some weird angle shooting stuff. It's sitting there right there. And you have, two, you have two tees and you have the boots to do it as well. Anyway, getting back on track. Talking about the game. I don't necessarily need... I mean, I don't, it makes sense. Mate, you can't, you can't tell me we're playing. You're, it'll be round five. Yeah, it'll be round five for you. And you're not looking for a free three points. Come on. Yeah, go, go, go. Yeah, do your own policing. I, I get that. It wasn't free. I completed quests. I'm helping the woodland, brother. Yeah, me too, brother. I can, I can run errands too. One, one fox quest. Okay, okay. You're really helping the woodland. <laughs> I think our newest quest is escort. I'm mostly spooked for the two hammers. I don't know who Which we're doing. Yeah, Hulkmania break it out here. I know, I know. What's behind door number two? Ooh, another expel bandits. These quests have been pretty good, I gotta point out. Now. Pretty consistently completable. Oh, you went up there. So you didn't collect your sword. Did not. <laughs> Sounds like we have brothers again. <laughs> Accomplish two of the same. Alright, we see a saboteur is crafted. No, we do. <clears throat> this. And this. I'm not going to do it. Hold our horses here. I cannot do that. Yeah. 
Yeah, I couldn't I couldn't age you. I thought I could age you twice this turn, but I can't. I have to be another turn. Sorry, buddy. So just get one point for that. How many mouse quests? All right, so Thief has completed two mouse quests, which leaves one in the deck, because, right, there's five of each suit. Wow, this is a waste of time. All right, let me draw twice. And I'll leave. Discard. Discarded a mouse, uh, fox partisans. Did I get my points? One point. Oh, <laughs> great. Good job, Lois. Actually, Toffus, there is an, um, Nebuchadnezzar made an updated version of the completed quest thing that lets you know how many are remaining in the deck. Uh, I should have asked Hazard to put it in this mod. I just... It was one of those things that was on my like potential list and never got there. Yes, that is for you. I aided you, uh, I think, two turns ago. No, last turn. I aided you last turn. Oh. Okay. I missed that. Okay. Sorry that I didn't double check that. No, you're good. Put this here. And did we have items left over? Yeah, we could have aided moles to avoid discarding. It would have been a little bit of a waste if we didn't do it twice, though. We didn't necessarily have two cards, or maybe we didn't want to feed two cards to moles at this point. <clears throat> Just because we're in that threshold between one and two. Quickly. We have nine warriors in the area supply left. To uh, disrupt this this bird thing, unless we all committed the next round to removing roosts. But I don't think that uh, the vagrim can't help with that. Unfortunately, without uh, swords, and then I have two fur for two battles for a potential four damage. Unless someone makes me another sword. Uh, <laughs> to 12 and back to 7. This is... They're going to get the turmoil on their terms, unfortunately. This is interesting. The table attention seems to be directed more toward Eerie than Moles. Like, Ice Rayers laying low a little bit, and Eerie's being perceived as the threat. Yeah. Oh, Vagabond is no fun. Four. Draw two cards. All right, so I'll put one in the burrow to start. <laughs> PJ Ducker, I won't tell you how many acorns I had to send him. Such a quiet game. I know. <laughs> I think it's always that nervousness of like over table talking or, you know, feeling like it's not going to get responded to or something like that. <laughs> I feel those nerves. Like, it's like, what am I table talking for if no one's going to listen to me? You know what I mean? So. No, I feel like it's a pretty respectful game. You know, sometimes it's not a really heated situation. People start over talking to each other and like really trying to like, oh. get this guy out. I totally get that. It's pretty good so far. Pretty good. Yeah, oh. this this feels casual competitive as far as <laughs> I mean we are playing competitively, but I'm having a we're good about time. To, I like we're you about all. to get we're about to get into the heat soon. So. Yeah, 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 yeah. Heat mode is sure. about to about to pop off. A lot yeah, of engines are to... on. Trying to think of who to who to give another pop to. I feel like I swung so poorly in that freaking fox clearing. I'm, yeah. I'm traumatized by the last round. Well, now uh, you got four swings there instead of two. You double your chances. That's true. That's true. So, yeah, moles looked like they were setting up for a coffin maker play earlier, which, you know, we didn't think was necessarily the best choice, but it's probably been blocked. 
take out a roost or what's your with the saboteur craft you got them you uh got that is definitely sports. on my priority list that is that is a thought for sure there's uh definitely some weaker roosts i could go after um there's a good chance that uh there's a bird ambush out there how many cards are left in the deck if I run, if I crunch the numbers real fast, what is that? Forty six point six percent of the <laughs> kidding. Uh, but seventeen cards left in the deck. That a bird ambush is sitting out there right now, which on a single hammer is pretty spooky. But um, let me think. But yes, I I would love to get engaged with some some roost re removal, but. Um, I don't think we're going to... We would have to have, like, two rounds dedicated to battle to disrupt. Like, to have the birds not turmoil on their terms. Uh, but... I know that's hard for everyone to commit to. But yes, it's on... To answer your question, yes, it's higher on my priority list to remove a roost. It just depends on where, like, what goes down here. What goes gonna down keep, here? I'm just going to keep laying down cardboard points. As, yes. as long as the moles, as long as the moles don't, that's just more heat on me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, I'm gonna move four. Birds still have nine in their supply, right? Yeah, nine. Through to the bunny and move up here with my second action. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna use Brig to attack in clearing number three with the birds. Any ambush, Harriet? Thinking about it. <laughs> that move into two is interesting. Yeah, I'll ambush. Cool. Ooh, okay. Using the fox ambush to foil the ambush. Bloodily. I'm wondering if it's a double police, if we're doing one against Eerie, one against Vagrant. Three, three. Gary refused to acknowledge the dice roll. <laughs> the big ask, second ambush in hand? <laughs> <laughs> That'd be absolutely bonkers on the guy, ambush. but deserved. I mean, if that's the narrative the woodland wants, that's the narrative the woodland wants. All right, so you're, uh, I'm going to second battle there. You said no ambush. Harriet, I'm going to battle you again in that clearing. 999 ping. We got to give it a second. Yeah, I said no. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Hey, it's backing out. So That's the one, internet, dude. Not your fault. One point for the the roost. Um, Hell yeah. I'm going to use the mayor to... Actually, let's hold off on that. I'm going to use captain to attack uh, the vagrant in clearing number two. Wait, you go... Wait. Hit me? Come on, man. I didn't... I, what? Wait, hold on. Let's think about Whack. it. <laughs> Quack. Why do you Why do you want to smack me? What am, What am I doing? Like I just lost a turn, preventing the other vagabond from going ahead. Like I literally got one point last turn. Why are you now smacking me? I'm not That's the threat anymore. Point. I was at the very beginning. Like that's the question. Like you said, like there's a lot of roosts coming out. You took out one roost. Next turn, there's going to be the same roost coming out. He's going to get the same amount of points you got last turn. So you have this person really sprinting ahead. I've been helping the board state by slowing things down, including my own turn. So I'm not the threat maybe that you think I am. I'm swinging on foxes. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> I got the swords. I'm going to go swing. He didn't lie about the one point last turn. I think I think a solid argument here is just that, like, you just policed Eerie. Uh, you know the other Vagabond is about to go police Eerie. One more, one more round of safety, at least. You may as well spread some policing around, make sure everybody gets a little love, you know? I can do that. Yeah, I can do that. Okay. I'll use... Uh... Sounds like we've reached an agreement not to, though. I will use the mayor to do a double move with the brig. Move three here and one from this 
fox clearing into this bunny clearing. I will sway with these two cards. All right. We have like the full action suite going on here. We have Bridget, Mayor, Captain, and Marshall. Grab my card and pass my turn. Thank you. All right, we refresh five items, which is not six. We actually re refresh seven. Five items, which is not six. Well, we're for sure. Yes. Jeremy, Jeremy must not realize teaser. I did say it last time too. All right, they caught it. They caught it. All refresh. Listen, I played a ton of Vagabond and have never had two T's. So now it's just ingrained in my brain. Not a ton of Vagabond. I guess that's pretty... <laughs> I consider five games as Vagabond a ton of Vagabond. Uh, okay, refreshed, slipping. The bag should move over. No big deal. We'll get to it, I'm sure. Fascinated by doing here today. We are... Let me just let me just math it out. Big brain it. What are my options? But yeah, chat. I 100% would have hit vagrant. I mean, like slip. An age strat is a little toothless. They're like their main bargaining chip is, hey, don't hit me, and I'll feed your cards. And it's like, well, I hit you. That's still your game plan. You're still gonna feed me cards. Only because I'm probably going to burn a lot of turns for attacking. I'm going to... Oh, Go wait, two points like first. Point. Huh? You could aid two points before <laughs> you go hostile. Give me two cards before hurting me, dude. It's <laughs> the last chance it'll benefit you. That's true. That's true. It does it does go into hostility mode after this point. That's a really good point. That's a really good point. <laughs> yeah, Katari, this is this is the man who famously talked to table into letting him flip for 15 points. You have to tease to, to like be able to refresh what you exhaust. Yeah, 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 yeah. Unless he does something crazy like this. <laughs> Quest completion. Bing bong. All right. We are giving a speech. I will take a point here just because I won't be committed to any other points here today. Taking the, po the point. Cool, cool. Unless rolls shake out very well. Uh, then I am going to exhaust a... Oh, yeah, Pat, no, absolutely no derision or, or judgment of anybody for making what we perceive as a wrong play. Tournaments are tough. We might be wrong. I'm going to exhaust my hammer. It's all part of the game. Craft boots. New. For another point. Thief has four boots now. All right, I'm gonna exhaust a sword. We're gonna swing over here in clearing nine. What are your thoughts? Ambush? That's not, you shouldn't do that, but uh, yeah, I, I won't ambush. Okay, that's a roll. 2-0, not bad. I'll gain one point on the roost. And one point on I'm infamy. I'm going to make another. And one point on infamy. Thank you for floating that over. Uh, I'm going to make... Hostile. Oh, and that also makes me hostile now. Got to track yeah. that. So you need two boots right to do that. Yeah, I'm sorry, need... say it again? You need two, need boots, two boots to move. To move. Yeah, yeah I, un I undid a boot because I'm going to have to spend two for this next movement. Mm -hmm. So I slipped and then I moved. All right, we're still down a point from the infamy. I'm going to spend two boots. 
to make a movement down here. I'm going to exhaust another sword. Do you have an ambush that you would like to use at this time? No ambush. Heard that. I'll make a roll. 1-1. One, one. Lousy roll. I gain one point for the burb removal because of hostile. And I have to get rid of an... I have to delete an item. Not delete, just damage. <laughs> Two. Otis, the, this, that very well could have been the classic mistake of thinking you don't... No. Oh, no, don't damage the unexhausted item. Hmm? You said damage an item too, right? Just one more. I did. I did the boot. Don't, damage the... Damage the exhausted boot. Sorry, my bad. Um, okay. Anyway, a lot of people think that you don't get infamy on your first battle, which could be what happened there. Or just forgetfulness, well, you know. Let me ask a question before I continue this damage. Do I want to go... It does look like it's not likely to be caught. That was bad phrasing. It does appear to be unlikely to be caught. That's still not good. We know, You know what I mean. Which my, the damage I was going to make to an exhausted boot. All right. That's better, at least. And yeah, Keegan, it's an easy mistake. Easy mistake. Very common. I am. I'm going to spend this boot to move to this rabbit clearing. Okay, taking advantage of it not being a hostile clearing to move there. And I think that's going to be me. I just look at my evening stuff. So an evening's rest, not in the forest. Draw one card. Boom. Draw one. And then this card down to five, which I'm cool. Remove... If I have more than 10 items in the satchel, I have nine currently, so I'm A-OK. -okay. And that ends the turn. Yeah, pretty solid turn, all things considered. Have we seen crossbow yet from Sways or Decree? I don't believe we have. Let's check the Decree real quick. Promise is a promise is a promise. So we slip. Yeah, I don't, I don't think we've seen it. Uh, we just slipped into... The forest to move to one, it looks like. Uh, where were we? I'm sure that was legal. I'm just, I I'm, I'm wanted to check uh, if we did a clever move to do that. Two to forest. Okay, so it didn't actually matter in any, in any capacity. Much appreciated. All right, so we're following through on the deal we made to avoid being hit. We are aiding moles. <laughs> we are, you know, doing exactly what we wanted to do anyway, but making it look virtuous. <laughs> hey, that's how you win, right? Are you aiding me, brother? Hello. <laughs> now he's going to craft coins. Hell yeah. Ah, the coin craft. One coin down, one to go. And we are officially gambling at the end of this round. I should set that up. I very much think I am not a threat now with a six-card mole. You did it! <laughs> you made the six-card mole. I did Jones. not. Hello? <laughs> Hello? Am I playing the same game? I'm the birds. I'm the birds, dude. <laughs> We think. Oh, I see. You're not the voice of Walrus. I'm right? not. No. <laughs> Walrus Law's one that did it. I've been so Walrus Law, checked. you did it. <laughs> Jeremy just thought that Walrus was a really good ventriloquist. Yeah. And and you know, imitation artist. So trying to keep swords out of his hand, I think there might be an aiding item playing here. So with that, you wouldn't be able to stop three, then two every time. Moles is the partner, so then you're trying to outrace the moles at that point. 
Oh, there's no way the moles has so many attack actions. There's no way I can, there's no way I'm gonna be like keeping away from him and then not getting smacked. It's not the loser to the cats. Not yet, Punk Starman. Totally I totally recognize that. I'm just saying oh, like yeah. that's kind of the the state right now is just if this all things left keeps normal, getting uglier and uglier. Yeah. The, the <clears throat> tough the tough position of the birds. Yeah. What we're we gonna do Oh this. shit. There it is. Holy banana boat, brother. Look at all and... those recruits. Okay. We are officially going double build despot. Makes sense to me. Round five, six? The... Round five. Double decree. So we are decree. You know what I'm saying? We are turbocharging. <laughs> it's turbo time. Sheesh. Okay, I do admit the specifically doing it in Fox is wild. So Walrus, what, what can you? If all you have is instigate, but there's no one else there to fight there, how are you going to beat the birds at this rate? Is that to power up the moles? That might be what it is. Outrace. That's, the that's what I'm doing. I'm trying to get somebody. Yeah. To... We can rebuild in three. Eto. He's threatening to beat. He's like he's. It's an extortion racket. The moles keep threatening to beat me up if I don't give him cards. Um. Give him... <laughs> like please. I'll give you your money. That's <laughs> right. Wait. I'm the bouncer here. Oh, okay. Okay. Now there is a world where you think you can legitimately outrace the moles at this rate. Hey, I don't oh. think I can out. I do not think I can. I know the birds are trying. <laughs> birds are trying. Birds will. Birds will outrace if all things don't get interacted with. Well, not if it's pretty hard to stop on this. Keep doing what they're doing. I, I, at hold on. Whoa, wait a minute. Slow You attacked me. I attacked the birds. Yes, I said the bird. <laughs> I said the birds, all things remain the same. We'll outrace everybody. No, I know. I was saying I'm not going to do that if people keep feeding the moles. That's correct. Yeah. I mean, so you're pretty much playing, uh, uh, you're playing solitaire over here. Like, you're not interacting with just building. You're just, you're, what is it? Catan. It's, it's not even roots. Catan. Yeah, there's a lot of open yeah. real estate here. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, it's better to turmoil on build. My only surprise is not making an offsuit in case we just change our mind and don't want to turmoil after all. You know? It's not hard to force a turmoil on build if you want it. Hard to Putting it in Fox is kind of hard committing to that turmoil, where if you did like rabbit or mouse, you could just yeah, yeah, yeah. not move into a rabbit or mouse clearing next turn. Uh, Carnal, the way the gamble works is it should pop up as an option once I make it go live, and you'll be able to wager your channel points, your Garrick bucks, uh, on one of the factions to win. And whoever whoever's correct at the end of the game gets a payout based on what other people bet against them. Like I said earlier, with that insurance on the on the deck, it's kind of tough to want to commit my entire army to one thing and just hunker down, right? Especially when all the good crafting stuff's off the list. I don't disagree with that, but part of the issue, though, is the um, recruiting. Like, if you reduce... Well, good call. Good point, Erzad. May not be available depending on your country. Uh, Heroic Logic, thank you so much for these six action, months. We need some Lord action to happen. I just don't know if anyone is going to be able to outrace. Everything's legal, but it also gives you cancer. Right, Colonel? Everyone committing to best the way of California. And causing a turmoil. Or uh, waiting for the turmoil, which is two turns away at this current stage. Did I accidentally beat for a second? Did everyone hear that? I apologize if so. Uh, five then five which would be 10 points and then they turmoil for three which is a net positive of seven so leave me alone i'll turmoil the next turn you have 10 warriors i know no i'm saying i, I can you have two rounds left to turmoil for sure because you would set up yeah i don't then put we'd have anything. to wait another turn i can force myself to turmoil if i'd like you won't. You can't. Why not? What do you mean, I why couldn't. not? <laughs> That's points, brother. Right, Unless so he's trying to switch on the seven. I'm going to put one in the burrow. Cool, cool, cool.
there's like a bunch of stuff that I want to do, but I feel like there's a couple things that I'm going to be forced to do. And this is, this is the, the route. The other option. At. Yeah. The other option is just to focus on your racing, like just juice up with the six cards you have in your hand and force interaction. I think you could probably outrace everyone. If you like by out racing, you then have to force people to commit to dealing with you. Otherwise you end up winning. Right. So I think that's true, Nutmeg Paladin, but I think just double going double build has a similar effect. You know, if you go if you go double build, that means you're still committing to spamming out roosts. People still are incentivized to take out your roosts, but are um, uh, wary of taking out your fox roosts because you still have the bird build to put them back. You know, I think you have a pretty similar result, but with more control and safety if you make it an offsuit. It's not an issue for the Vagabond, so I can see where you're coming from. But worrying about the false orders the whole game and having that kneecap you just on threat alone, like might as well try to force the false orders at some stage then later when it really matters. So that's also something to think about. Either way, I'm swinging, you know what I mean? I'm swinging somewhere. <laughs> decisions, decisions. Yeah, this is probably a big mole turn. I'm going to recruit once. We're reaching about the point of the game where we want to pivot into buildings you know we, we have to start accelerating our our scoring pace but we haven't established we haven't swayed lords to protect our action economy ministers you know so we're in a vulnerable position if we do pivot I don't know where that it did but i think it just okay. went under for some reason okay we also haven't swayed formal so we don't even have like flexibility of building Yeah, I mean, at minimum, we have to sway a lord this turn and maybe try also building buildings, you know? Because uh, we're just, we're behind. If we consider the game a race, we're losing the race. I'm going to use the marshal to move. And if we consider the game a, you know, policing war, I don't think we're doing enough to be effective. Rig to move yeah, out of the tunnel. Oh, we're not building. I notice. We appear to be policing. Yeah, I mean, this would have been a good build turn with birds turmoiling, assuming the fox roosts stay. I think the, the counter argument to that is that Thief has pledged a commitment to removing roosts, you know? Uh, so, so that idea maybe falls apart. But Eerie still don't have any uh, battle actions, so it's still relatively safe. Yeah, I'm just I'm just rolling this back here because I just don't think. No, it's okay. My computer's laggy when wars are moving, so I'm making sure it's just not just silence and then you're not trying to attack me and I'm missing it. No, no, I'm just I'm just thinking through this because even if I even if I take you out there, right? To you still can recruit four in that fox clearing and come back up and build with six. So it's, you can still, you'll still be fine next go around. Uh, 400 lows. Eerie are one of the strongest factions in the Marauder meta, assuming you're going God of War, AKA no turmoil, charismatic. Uh, if you're not going no turmoil charismatic, they're still a solid faction, but it's going to depend a lot more on matchup and RNG and whether you're going, you know, despot to charismatic, charismatic to despot, uh, or no turmoil despot. Like that is the setup here. Those are all changing the the calculation a little bit. But they're all around a pretty solid faction. People down, not necessarily gives me points. 
Yeah. I also agree, Moss Fusion. I think this was this was one of those games where you probably could have yeah, gone greedy, built early, and been safe. Getting roost Yeah. Yeah. Switching more combatant yeah. is definitely gonna be the angle here. Unless we keep destroying Roost and keeps have standard like pacing of scoring because we don't have we're not committing enough forces to removing all the buildings. So Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. ETO, I'd probably take that a step further. I think you probably need at minimum Wooden Alliance and Otters. And then additionally you need another faction that's useful, like Corvids or uh um um is cats or he's got a, such a good recruit uh or rats with mobs so once he shifts i think you basically need three factions that you can score cardboard off of take the out. Uh, and two of them need to be low aggression lightly defended some so some combination of wooden alliance otters cats so are probably necessary as two of the factions and then the third has to also be helpful otherwise i think despot is just a, a strictly worse choice in most cases yeah, it's a gamble doing it for rats. You that would be almost like so over two turns a counter pick based on the player rather than the faction. You know, somebody who you think is going to go mobs. Eight warriors in ten minus three points, so seven points. Because he won't turmoil on the next round if we leave the roost alone. Then he will turmoil because he can't build two bases or whatever have you, which will still be five more points minus three. Could put more into recruit as an option uh, to keep building up those forces. So yeah, it could be could be warriors and then hope to swing when they're at 20, 20 points, 2021, 20, depending if no crafts happen, no other cardboard is eaten. So yeah, a warriors game plan is interesting for sure. Keep them down until the turmoil. But it's risky. It's risky either way, because if we just let it stand, I think birds win. Because five plus yeah. whatever other points, four or five, depending on what other points they pick up, will be, what, three or four turns, depending now. I like the warrior plan. I like the warrior trying not to eat into a roost. But... Additionally, that also doesn't give you any points, so that's something to consider as well. I think that's what you can get points by yeah. swaying, but uh, yeah, that's the, that's the problem here, right? Is if I if I try to play the police officer, I throw I, you know I'm kind of throwing my any points right. engine that I can create in here. So I think I'm going to change where I dig. I'm going to dig down here instead and move my guys <clears> this way. I can do all because I only have two swords. I can do all the two bird clearings. All right, so I'm coming down here. And I'm going to. It sounds like we've reevaluated how we're doing what we're doing, but not what we're doing. I recruited once into the burrow. I recruited twice into the bur burrow for my one action. I dug into tunnels into clearing seven. My first action is going to be to um, use uh, a captain to battle the birds in clearing seven. Do you want to ambush, Harriet? No ambush. Okay. Pretty good. Uh, talking about how Mole should have built if they'd gotten swole from turn one. Uh, Thief got the sword from the ruin right away, right? Oh. Um, it wasn't. That was just. Yeah, no worries. That would be another reason to maybe consider Citadel or be afraid of going swole. <laughs> no, okay, Noodle. I was typing in chat at first because I didn't want to talk over the players. I'm trying to not talk over them too much, uh, but then there was silence, so I just decided to say it after all. I thought. I thought that over the course of this turn, Ice Rayer was coming to the same realization as us that we needed to pivot Marshall to move Swole this turn here, uh, and was backtracking the initial. Oh yeah, well, too late now. The initial um, we could also put a bunch of warriors in the empty clearings because they can only build where rule is possible, and that might also force a false orders. You're already, I know you've already committed like half your turn to doing the stuff you wanted to do, yeah. but that was also another thought. 
I'm going to... Yeah, I thought maybe we realized we shouldn't police and should instead pivot, but instead we just changed how we policed. I'll leave it there with my actions. I'm going to sway uh, Duchess of Mud. Okay, getting Duchess of Mud, which I like. Uh, I think I think that... Cards. Wait a minute, Duchess of Mud. Duchess of Mud? Okay. Yeah, I like Duchess of Mud. Buddy, buddy. Fox, yeah, makes sense to me. Yeah, I like Duchess of Mud. Yeah, that's cool. Duchess of Mud gets swayed. That's three points. For a second, I was thinking we were doing Baron of Dirt, and I was like, I like Baron of Dirt over Earl of Stone. But Duchess of Mud, that's that's a cool pick, given we have three tunnels and we're protecting them reasonably well. Those are likely to stick around. I'll grab one card, and I will pass my turn. Obviously, Duchess is less efficient than Baron or Earl right. in a general sense, but in this context, Five items. we already have the, the tunnels. Doing its own thing right now. Yeah, I agree there, Moss Fusion. If we stay small the whole game, we're not going to outrace Vagrant, but... This at least means we get our scoring up, even if we don't build next turn. Lord. Mm, T, that's four. One more. We really gotta start building though. Oh shit, we gotta gamble. Yeah, let me. Oh, now I'm uh, using up my curses. <laughs> gamble live. Gamble live. Torch T, sword, sword. No boot means no move afterwards. Currently leading is the Vagrant at 15 points. 14 points, we have the Eerie. 12 points, we have the Thief. And 11 points, we have the Moles. And another. See the decree. Yeah, I will do. I wanted to. I want to catch this refresh. That's why I'm focusing so much on this. We hit 15 points. The the gamble gang must be. The gamble has begun. <laughs> <laughs> Here's vagrant. Hi, hi, wager on birds. Hey, everyone, send me. Uh, send me your bucks. Send me. You know, bet on this vagabond. I can't guarantee a <laughs> win, but I'm looking for it. You can't bribe chat. That's <laughs> Here's our eerie. Send, send me Twitch special emote advantage. Uh, fuck. Such a tough decision. Here's our moles. Reminder, we have Captain Marshall, Mayor, Bridget, Duchess. Or am I a man? Yeah, Lily, I heard you. I figured it was you. No, I definitely want that tea back. If anyone wants to remember quests, we'll look at those real quick. Guard duty, expel bandits. Did somebody actually win dominance in the tournament order? And fend off a bear. Yesterday, yeah. Yeah, cats oh, did. Shit. Yeah, they had a three-player game. Yeah, it was a three-player game, two vagabond and cats. What? On the mountain map. Absolutely reckless. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, right, everyone. Just, just give me a second. Tournament experience. No, no, you're good. You're, you're in vagabond puzzle mode now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, Keegan, the thief has completed two mouse quests and one fox quest. My decree. The vagrant has completed one mouse quest and one fox quest. Holy shit! Oh no, five, five. No, you're fine. What do you mean? <laughs> well, I just mean like thinking before I yeah. think for a while before I take my turn. If anyone needs any more info, let me know. I'll do my best to catch it before the timer runs out. <laughs> okay. I don't think I don't think I can I don't think I can afford to bop this turn. Unfortunately, because I goofed myself on the T. <laughs> Check the script and let you know who's gonna win. <laughs> time with two swords that'll help bring down the bird count i took care of the roost the only roost that was available so bringing down that bird count might help with any future rounds 
Yeah, I mean, Vagrant obviously looking real good. Oh, wait a minute. <sighs> Caught it. There's a there's a fox card in uh in build. There are no more foxes to be built in. So there is a turmoil happening next turn. That's for sure. All right. Thief just noticed that they have the power to turmoil Eerie. So gotta leave those. Their plan up to this point. That rabbit clearing. That could have been that could have been goofy. Their plan up to this point had been to kill Roost. Now it sounds like they won't. Okay, so they may not have realized it, ETO. Five, then three, so net two. Well, four, so net two. Or net Bye. one. Bye. Hey, Gorky, thanks for the eighteen months. We're all gonna cry next round. I do not Please. have coins. I know. We, Chad's been talking about it for ten minutes. The table hasn't. <laughs> Turny tunnel vision is so real. So real. Okay. Well, with that information on the... Pace is slowing down too, yeah. Gamble's closing, it looks like. By the time you hear that, it might be over. I'm going to refresh. Thank you for your patience, everyone. I, I... All right. Submission's closed. Looks like most of the gambles for... Longer than I did on that last turn, so... For Eerie Dynasty, five people gambling 20.6k coins. 49% of the vote. Uh, Vagrant, the other... Actually, Vagrant, funnily enough, more people, 14 people, but with 17.2k coins, only 41% of the gamble. Four people on moles. They'll, they'll fill one up. person for Thief. Got that one hedge. I, take I respect the hedge. They gain four, which is net two, plus whatever they add to the decree. There's still stuff that can be added to the decree for more. Um... Charismatic. 20k of the birds came from you, PJ Darker. <laughs> go big or go home, right? Go fighty. Oh. Okay. Unfortunately, I don't think battling is here in the future, mainly because the T is goofing up my boots combination, and then I'm stuck in a clearing that recruits pretty heavily, and then I'm absolutely goofed. Uh, so... I don't think that I can commit to that warrior count here today. Um, so I'm going to refresh one torch, one boot, one sword, one hammer, and one T. Keegan, the trick to have coins for the entire tournament is to either always bet right or just leave your leave your computer watching the stream all the time. I'm going to slip here then i'm going to exhaust a boot to move here questing turn to spend the torch and the sword to complete this mouse quest for oh, you did. Of course you three did. point <laughs> three three point mouse quest and then i'm going to spend this hammer to repair this boot And with that, all of my actions are spent. That is going to be the end of my... I draw one card. Satchel check. Ten, eight of ten. I'm fine for right now. I must discard one. Our new quest is logistics help in Fox. Uh, good thief quest. Not as good vagrant quest. Tunnels. And we've already completed one Fox quest as thief. So Thief could maybe go hard on quests and try to keep up to the aiding Vagrant. That's not good. Fourteen, fifteen. Yeah, okay. There's, I was double checking the the size of the quest deck. There's five of each, so there's one more mouse quest in there for a four point quest for thief. 
Um, Link Z, Link Zerus, yes. Vagrant is doing an aid strat with moles. And <laughs> so far, nobody's. I don't know if anybody's quite caught on that Vagrant is doing that as their primary strategy and not, you know, virtuously out of the kindness of their heart. Um, asking about what leader for Eerie will be next. I think it does depend on the number of bird cards in hand for sure. You can probably make charismatic work yes, be points. between moles and vagabonds. You know, you. That's a two, fair fair enough. two points. Fair enough. The danger there would maybe be warriors. I thought you might have. You have 11 in your bag, though. <clears throat> uh, so, big, big pivot, actually. Vagrant just crafted. Hold on, no, I only have two. Fox Vagrant just crafted a sword. I should be at 19. I thought I'd that way. What's here? What do we got? Oh. And completed the Fox Quest. Very cool. We are over six, so we'll probably drop it right away. Yeah. Pretty cool craft. That's some like, that's some smart stuff. Using the, the quest to, to exhaust the bag again, to to uh, get a couple of points and get rid of the the sword after using it for points and probably an aid. And I'm aiding the bird. That's some good efficiency. One, two. Yeah, and it keeps it out of circulation for the thief or just anyone else to craft. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I've just got an item. Walrus <laughs> Law being tricksy, impossible. I have to discard. I'm. He's taking. No. Yes, because I don't. Yeah. Wait, the, the way he's talking, it sounds like this may not have been intentional. He sounds confused about what to drop. Yeah. Either that or he's just, you know, hamming it up for the camera. Like, yeah, it could very well be acting. He, uh, Darker, he's in Russia. It is very late for him. We are coming up on midnight his time. Eric, three times. Can you give me a clarification on the infamy roll? How does the vagabond score points via infamy again? Uh, when, when with desperate infamy, when you remove any number of pieces of a hostile faction in battle, you score one point for removing hostile pieces. With instigate, that means you can score up to two points in a single battle if two hostile factions remove pieces. Mm -hmm. Oh, so even so, even if I make them fight each other and they're both hostile, I get two points. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. If they're not hostile, would only one piece trigger infamy. If they're not hostile, you would score normal cardboard points, and if you remove one warrior, that would still turn you hostile. You just wouldn't get infamy for it. Same as normal infamy. You know, removing one, the first warrior of a faction in the game in a battle turns you hostile, and every subsequent piece you remove starts counting against infamy. Because I know if I discard a hammer, I'm going to draw like another sword or another coin as soon as I discard it. As soon as I'm <laughs> well, okay, so that's 
Chat was asking maybe it's because of the quests, and that's that's a reasonable assumption. Guard duty and expel bandits both require two swords. I don't have the quest deck internalized enough to recognize what's remaining in the deck and know how many need swords. I know we've completed a handful, so I don't think it's a ton, but it's also probably not nothing. Or yeah, or if he just wants to pivot to infamy. You know, instigate is great. Phase anyways, so I can't really do anything else. Um, so I draw three cards. What? What do we discard? Did I miss it? I saw him move the sword and then put it back. Oh, we're we were doing it out of order. I see. I see. He he hadn't drawn yet. He now he's drawing. I I got gotcha. you. Six seven. We are going to get rid of the. Sorry, the way he stopped to think about it before, I thought we'd reached that step, and then I got mixed up. Sword. All right, we are sticking with the age strat. The vade grint, as we were saying. Great turn, Vagabond brother. Great turn. <laughs> Bro, we're trying out here. <laughs> we straight trying. All right, so Eerie's going to turmoil this turn. Did he score six that turn? Let's double check. One, no, one, two, three, four. I'm counting five in the log. Hmm. And uh, I don't remember if I finished saying this, but Eerie is going to turmoil this turn. We didn't get any of our fox roosts removed. Uh, this did appear to be somewhat planned, but maybe it was half bluff. Maybe we didn't want it. Because we're a little... You probably wouldn't want to turmoil any later than this. Right? And I think ideally you maybe wanted it last turn, because this is round six. Yeah, I mean, sometimes the game ends round seven. I think you want at minimum two rounds to, to close out. But with a little bit of a slower game, this isn't too late to make it happen. Vagrant's the only one surging ahead at the moment at 20 points. This is what I meant, though. If we'd not gone Fox for our double build... Yeah, white VP tracker is Vagrant just because they're the first Vagabond, the one that was picked first. Uh, yeah, so this is what I was saying before. Uh, I understand the the sort of fun mind play of the Fox double build. I would have rather any other double build, just because I think it has a very similar effect, but it would have been salvageable. We didn't have to turmoil. But now we do. Is that right? And it's probably just a death knell, because... <sighs> Unless he had only fox cards, he's... The, he added two cards to the decree that turn, though, did he not? So then I'm gonna do... Like, there was still a conscious choice to commit two cards to the decree. And we had other cards in hand. They could have also been fox. Where'd he go? This... Okay, I like this. If we're going to turmoil, go out in a blaze of glory. Getting a triple build. Yeah, Toffus, that's what I thought. One to recruit, one to build. Oh no, we have plenty of warriors. We actually had 11 at the start of this turn, so we still have 7. <clears throat> I 
I'll say not punching Vagrant that one turn. I think you can see that reflected on the score track right now. You know, that one time moles were like, I'm going to punch you. And Vagrant was like, what if you don't? Here we are. Because the deal was, I don't punch you, you feed me two cards. I still think that's not necessarily the only thing Walrus could have done, but it's certainly one of the things Walrus wanted to do anyway. So it was agreeing to not hurt you to let you do what you wanted to do anyway. Pretty much all upside for Walrus. And I would lose three. Oh. Pretty tame turmoil, though, happening here. Only three bird cards in the decree. <laughs> this is a little Euro Rudy, Elano. Um, which is why the person with the arguably best engine and best optimization of that engine is the one winning. All right, we're going commander. Very interesting decision. Because it's not like there's a lot of cardboard out there to pick up. Um, we're not going to clean up the the map of cardboard and close out the game on those points. And, and draw three. And discard. True, commander can try to slow the game down. And we do have a lot of recruits out. If we have, if we've been saving birds like we we think Harriet has, we can start dumping some birds into into recruit and try it. But what Katara is saying is exactly the problem. It's it's an aid vagrant. Even if you send vagrant to the forest, action and my first two daylight actions. That kind of just means points for Duchess of Mud. He gets a free refresh round, you know? Good job. All right, we recruited twice and just immediately scored Duchess. You're not feeling great about your 20K meme bet on birds. <laughs> Diamond hands, PJ Darker. Take it to the moon. Don't back out now. I got my moves really quickly. One. Sure. Right, the... Patience, Anytime, this is a good time to talk about it. Anytime you're going up against a vagrant aid strat, a vagrant, uh, you don't want to send them to the forest. You want to maim them over the course of the game. You know, hit them once every now and then. Something that means that they're having to take time to repair their actions, but it's never so painful that they want to go to the forest. You know, make, make their decision difficult. Because sending them to the forest doesn't usually mean much. They just, they dump what they can into aiding, go to the forest, draw up, refresh everything, come back out, dump it again, exhaust everything, you know? I mean, it's a cycle that feeds into the play pattern already. Five. Doesn't have to commit anything to you. Building. Wolf. Yeah, agreed, ETO. This is maybe a time to look at... If you send Walrus to the forest now, he does have to waste a full hand, which hurts. That's one way to hurt him. Uh, can you damage bags so they have to dump items? Versus no, because dropping items from the satchel is the final step of the Vagabond's turn. Uh, they will always have the chance to move into a forest and repair all of their damaged items and refresh all the damaged items, including the bags, before they have to dump items. So it is impossible to force a Vagalon to dump items in route. Um, but yeah, if you, you have to, currently you have to weigh, is it better to force Walrus to discard cards or is it better to let Walrus have a turn if you don't think he can get 10 points and then punch him, send him to the forest next turn so that you actually buy a turn. And then you have to do that, that EV calc and determine which is better. Brig move from the burrow up to clearing five. 
I will grab two guys and move here. All right, looks like that's probably picking up the easy cardboard. I will then use the captain to uh, battle in this fox clearing in the bottom corner. I think it's three with the birds. And no ambush. Sorry, I was saying a sip of water. <laughs> I'm going to use... Okay, so I, uh, my first brig action was to do two moves. So I'm going to use the mayor to on the brig again, and I'm going to battle in clearing one, but I'm going to battle the Vagabond. So we'll okay, we're battling. Is there like anything to... I can do? Is there anything I can do to talk you to not hit me? You're just a little too far ahead, man. I mean, unless I need, we need to go hostile here. No, uh, you're not going to oh. go hostile. Do you lose the sword? You drop the sword? Yeah. On Poipus. Well, it's a defenseless, strategy. a defenseless. So bond. here's the question, but like, here's the thing, though, right? Like, yeah, I wouldn't fight this too hard in Walrus's seat. I would not fight this super hard because I think, from Walrus's perspective, this is probably better than being sent there next turn. So if you really think that, well, okay, yeah, you want to do it? Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> yeah, you got. See, he just realized. He just realized it. He started backpedaling immediately. Um, Esoteric, you were taught wrong. Yes. Uh, if you damage somebody, a Vagabond, whose items are all damaged, they do not have to discard items. There is no such rule. And I am going to attack... Uh, Wasn't quite the role I was looking for, but uh, I'll attack. Uh, I know I'm gonna need to roll well in here, Harriet. I'm gonna attack you once as well in this in this clearing. All right, we're doing equal policing. Yeah. Uh, Retro, there's a joke there. Then they'd have to rename rest, but you know they already did that. So it's a joke that doesn't quite work. One oh, crushing these rolls. <laughs> oh, poor Ice Rayer. Bruh. Bruh. Yeah, bruh. <laughs> bruh. <laughs> I'm the wimpiest moles ever, man. All right, and that is, I think, all my regular actions. I'm going to sway. Uh, PJ, if we were going Dom as Eerie, we probably would have wanted to go Charismatic for the extra recruits, right? I'll sway the... <laughs> Dice are tired and want to go take a nap. <laughs> I'll sway a lord. I'm going to sway one of the barons here. Keegan, Vagabond might not go to the forest. It probably depends a lot on what cards they have in hand. For three points. And also what quests are available to them when their turn comes around. Like maybe... Maybe Thief clears out one or two of these bunny quests and a good um, fox or mouse quest comes out that has uh, Walrus incentivized to go after it while it's there. That's my turn. Thank you. All right. Refresh. Seven items. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I wanted more more battles in that top clearing. I just didn't, didn't have the economy to do it, unfortunately. That's fine. You had to you had to do what you had to do. You know what I mean. You got to get points too. You put the cocaine and put it in the bank. I'm going to refresh two swords. I'm going to refresh hammer boot 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 boot. Low-key, 
<laughs> Stealing a card from Vagrant. Is that my seven? Decent counterplay right now. Uh, yeah, this is. I think. I don't think this changes. I think it's always this thief model. Don't I think there do exist a couple other ones, but they're not in the mod, I believe. Maybe if you maybe if you choose the three D models for the non tournament version of Doctor Hazard's Did mod, you might have more options. The hammer. It's, I'm not sure. I I never play with the three D models. Where's Thief again? 10. That's right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's pretty clever, Batmaster. 3D print one of the lizards to use as an IRL discard blocking Dan. I will. I think we have a friend with a 3D printer. Maybe we'll try for that. That's a good idea. Lily's about to scream at me in chat. I carved this big wooden one, but it's too big, Lily. You made a giant wooden one. We can't use that for the game. Mm. What's Thief's game plan here? You're currently last in points. The quests, that's, the quests suck, and you've been angling into quests decently hard over the course of the game. I, I think this, I'm going to do that. So I'm not unexhausting a... I'm guessing either questing or stealing, Punk Star Man. You're looking pretty juiced up too. Woo! Spooky game! Uh, I'm going to... So these items are refreshing. One of them is not a boot out of my eight. I will slip and expend an extra boot for this slip due to hostility. Yeah, I'm all for stealing from Vagrant. I am going to swing on the birds. Or actually, I'm Wait. going to... Did we, just, did we just pay a boot for Slip? Vagrant. We don't need to pay a boot for Slip. Okay, go for it. You just want me to pick from your hand? Uh, we are stealing from Vagrant, though. Right. Stealing from Vagrant. Love to see it. Uh, Love to see it. I guess I could have done that, but... Okay, cool. That's right. That's one of those big brain moves that players often don't think of in the game. It's easier to think of from like our omniscient perspective of, of chat and commentator. And cool to see it happen in the game. Then I will swing on the birds here. Birds, would you like to play an ambush? What did I say? What did I say that could be misconstrued? No. I will roll. Three, two. Three, two, I take one. And you only take two. I score two points. One, two. And I will damage. Oh, that's a tech. <laughs> then I will expend two boots to move to this rabbit clearing. Okay, cool. Yeah, I think that's exactly what we're doing, chat. Uh, in nine against the birds, do you have an ambush you would like to play? Because now we're ending up in Bunny, which is where quests happen, you know? No. Okay. I will roll. Two, one. I take one, and I gain two points. One, two. Okay. And I must damage another item. Can't complete any of these quests now, though. Sadly. I will expend, I will damage a boot in this case. I will spend the hammer to get a boot back. Move into my evening, evening's rest, draw one card. And then Oh, fuck me. Uh, and then... <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, Moss Fusion, it's very true. It's very true. What do you mean, flip the boot? 
Oh, just to correct the boot we shouldn't have? Did you repair of... a damaged item? I did repair a damaged item, yes. Mm -hmm. Link Zerus, no. That, that's first printing rules. That's not, that's not been true since Underworld, or before Underworld, technically, but since Underworld. Yes. Repair and refreshing are completely separated from each other in current root rules. And... Except for an evening's rest, which does both. Is, and then checking items, 8 of 10. We're fine there currently. That is the end of my turn. Going to... Yeah, solid turn. Watch my items. Yeah. I don't think I think I forgot to look at what uh, items Vagrant damaged earlier, but I see we used the torch and the boot as a shield. We have two hammers to get them back if we need them. We're sitting in clearing one with a bunch of moles. We'd have to move to reach Erie. There's one coins left, a sword, a crossbow, and a bag. So there's a little bit of crafting in each suit, more so in fox. Absolutely. Heading over to clearing five with the moles. Repair, repair. Is the turn we go allied with moles, perhaps? We've chosen not to go to the forest, obviously. And we're not going to quest. Uh, we're going to go one, two, three. Here it is. Yep, it's happening. Aid moles. The thing about aiding moles is they don't have banker at the moment. We're they went Earl of Stone for their last sway. One. Which, what were we talking about that I didn't comment on that? Aid moles. Four point turn right there. Got three cards. Pretty sick. And it's turn. Bumps us up to 25. Otis, you did miss the betting. <laughs> Striking range, baby. All right, so they gotta send the vagrant to a forest, to the forest, and buy a turn now. It's just got to happen. Got to got to put him in the woods. <laughs> got to put him in the woods. It's all he can do. Yeah, I mean, we're on a one turn clock where you can buy only one turn. No way Vagrant doesn't win I don't think on their next turn. They get to do stuff. Balls are going to most of a two turn clock right now, don't they? Uh, yeah. I think so. Two, two or three, depending on what's in hand. Holy banana boat. <laughs> yeah. Give him four cards. <laughs> Yikers. Yeah, let's go take a look at that. Look at that hand of cards, everybody. Look at that. But yeah, I agree. I don't... Drew. I don't think moles have a 13-point burst Thirty cards. when they're currently small and don't have banker. You know, if they'd swayed banker last turn, we could talk. We could talk. <clears throat> and if, I'm really surprised they went with Earl over Baron because I have to we have to go markets if we're gonna go swole at this point right Pretty 
I don't think Eerie has a chance, so, sadly, for Harriet. Hit the moles or the vacant? Ultimately, you can only, we can only stop the Vagrant for one more turn because even if we send the Vagrant into the forest next turn with no items, they'll come out of the forest with six. Oh, well, they'll still be refreshed. They'll come out of the forest with six and then aid. We can't prevent them from aiding. All we can buy is one more turn if we committed to uh, putting them in the woods. Yes. Yep, they'll be at five cards. Yeah. Oh, were all of those cards you handed over mice cards? Not all of them. Oh, uh, I see. I understand now. Just making sure. Hey, Linden Master, that's a fun idea. Yeah. Moles retreat everything to the burrow, and table wipes out the tunnels. How funny would that be? Would that buy a turn? The only scenario where they couldn't win on their next turn is if all the cards they drew were foxes. Or I'm sorry, rabbit. That could maybe do it. They only have, well, only they have two boosts. No, it doesn't the matter. They can get they can get wherever they want for the aid as well. So yeah, 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 yeah. So, so if we want to buy one more round, it, they have to go into the forest this next turn. <laughs> Don't start, I mean, that does not help moles win, well, lean potato. No way that okay, no way moles commit to that plan. You know what I mean? Birds are not there. Birds are not. Laughing. Yeah, I'm not there. Um, yeah, action economy is wicked low. Kataria, I don't know if Vagrant has enough actions. Score some more points. It's to do it without without moles. Like maybe if they have five cards matching Eerie's clearing and they can just dump them all without moving much, that could that could give four. Still have to find one more. Usually the way it works, you punch down. You have no swords. The best you can do it is instigate. If moles are not on the map, you punch. who are you instigating with? So Right, right. In this I'm going to assume quests still suck. That could be a lie. You can punch me. So the best would be crafting a coins. Aiding Eerie. I can't. I'm in no aid position to score 10 points, my dude. Not the rhetoric, for sure. Bro, have you ever seen Greg Will play the Vagabond? <laughs> yeah, I'm not that person. Nor have I watched that game. So, And I also only have one hammer. I do not have 11 points in my next turn. Well, okay, but the next two turns. Thing. Sure, slowing you down definitely can put me in a winning position as well, but I... Punching left is not the thing here also because I only have two swords, unfortunately. So I can only do two damage of the six. Which you would need. <laughs> hey, Gregula. Also, did you ever email me back confirming your availability? Instead of sending... I just need to know I didn't... I need to know that you know you're playing. Yeah, I need to be able to end three times. So you, you are betting that I have the right cards in my hand to win next turn. Yeah, I, betting is where we're already at. I ain't got it. <laughs> I certainly don't have it. Hmm. Okay, hold on. Yeah, we've reached the part of the game where... If I go and punch the Vagrant, though, I'm just giving a lot more cardboard points to... Oh, did you DM me? Maybe I forgot about the DM. You might have DM'd me in a busy period, no, and I forgot to mark it down. You don't have it. You no, don't I'm have, thinking you, out loud. Yeah, you do what you gotta do to get points. I don't think there's a rhetoric we could propose where you assist in policing the vagrant. That's just not an option yeah. here today. Yeah, I think I made a mistake As I said, hitting both of you in that, in that clearing one. I should have double hit the vagrant. That's probably my yeah. fault. Okay. I could, hey, I'm just saying, I called the strategy from the rip. It was a craft and age. Dude, we quested so much this game. That's something I want to point out. Like, I know, I know. There's been a lot of questing. It's very cool. There was even counter questing. Well, I how know. That how can you see counter questing happen? You took my fox. I took your uh, your mouse. Was... This has been a very cool game. I want to point out. But seen some really good stuff. Sure, that's like questing. So much... Yeah.
Yeah. There's only room for one vagabond in this woodland. It's true, it's true. No questing for you. And then all the yeah. all the quests came out and we're like, no. <laughs> Nothing we can do. All these fucking swords, brother. <laughs> Help me. Uh, yeah, that's where we stand. If we don't uh if we don't send the vagabond vagrant vagrant vagabond into the forest next turn, uh it will be a va- guaranteed vagrant win. And you should I don't, know if there's a, I don't know if there's a rhetoric you could spill that doesn't showcase that five points. Then if, then if you're going to send me to the forest, you should make the people in the front do it. You should not police from the behind. From the no, end. the birds aren't. The birds aren't doing. We already. We already said that. It's up I, yeah, to. I'm not doing. I can't. Yeah. All right. It's the malls right now. It's the malls right now. Right. Here we go. No, no it's yours. I'm just. It's the birds. Yeah. I'm trying to figure out. We're exactly. just talking. Talking. Yeah. Uh, Katara, vagrant wins. It's just a question of when at this point. And I, I don't think, I mean, I wouldn't, you know, begrudge the players if they were like, okay, you know, we see that. Crafted that. No she, reason to even send Vagrant to the forest. She, I, this is 100% Walrus's game to lose. You may as well send Vagrant to the forest just in case. No. But I think this is pretty inevitable. For one, your disdain for trade doesn't really hurt you there. No, no, no. I meant like with the other cards out of my hand. Oh, I want a bird, want yeah, a bird yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you false orders into the burrow? Yes, you also can false orders out of the burrow, which is seen far less often and is very funny when it happens. We'll be crafting. Um... Pat, the problem is moles just got their big aid burst this turn, and they're going to have to discard all those cards before they can use Banker. That's pretty huge. They're not going to get aided by Vagrant if they send a Vagrant to the forest, so they're not going to get to use the extra cards with Banker. Then, you know? They're going to craft... And, and they're currently sitting at 17 points. I'm an idiot. I already forgot I had false. 13 points when you only get one turn of of banker. Whoop. Oh, well. Oh, hell yeah. Rabbit Parsons, brother. Safety. <clears throat> okay. And then I'm going to move... It's doable. It's just here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, let's count it out. So we get four points six from Duchess across two turns. Ambush. Yeah, no ambush. Takes us to twenty-one. We assume two for Swang Banker takes us to twenty-three. Damn, dude. <laughs> the dice just saying military factions, no fighting, please. Twenty-three. Yeah. <laughs> Um, one more, one more gut punch. Yep. Uh, no ambush. Using banker gets us to twenty-eight. So we have to find two points. Oh, aren't you the commander, though? Right? You deal an extra hit in combat. Yeah, but it, it doesn't matter because now they're all gone anyways. Okay. Okay. But yeah. So if we sway, if we build twice in addition to swaying this turn, that's the points. Yeah. That means we have to have the right cards, though. The tunnel as well. Yeah, I just did it. Because we have to build with our two daylight actions. Let's not forget, we don't have formal, so it's really card dependent. Granted, Walrus implied that he gave a bunch of birds to to Ice Rayer. So let's think of uh, Hector. Thanks for the gift sub, man. The next turn, that's at least four points. Putting you. Sorry, and I'm talking through Harriet's turn. Well I think they did a little bit of botched policing against on the board but you somebody well you could next turn have the rabbits to no you'd have to crap no, I build moles against moles you have no rabbits option did we just lose a tunnel unfortunately so they killed a tunnel yeah, you got there's not a moles You're... game out the window I think right there right I don't know what moles has that's a lot of cards in it <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's, a cra- that's a crazy amount of cards uh but you look like you're on a two turn. So what are your thoughts? They can dig, but we were also talking about how they needed both daylight actions to build. Remember? Well, if you, if are you able to aid me? Because like, you can get that it's, extra sword. The issue is that I. It's still theoretically doable, but now we have to make up a point, probably in combat. We probably have to kill a roost across these two turns. And I can't. I can't get there. I can't pick up the sword and get over there to fight. And also, somebody still has to go. Or we could coin craft. Yeah, I mean, there's still things. Um, the thing I was going to point out, though, is nobody's hit Vagrant yet. We still have to send Vagrant to the forest for this plan to even happen. 
first one into the burrow. I am going to uh, reveal two cards to double build. Sure. Damn. PJ Darker, yes. The for Theory's Tweet tournament, uh, the my plan. The uh, mayor was changed to be perform any one action from the assembled parliament step. The the daylight actions. Coins are also back in the deck as well. So, oh wait, coins aren't. Up. Oh wait, there is a coin option. I forgot that the vagrant starts. With yeah, coin. yeah, vagrant's got to go. Vagrant's got to go to the forest, for sure. Mouse builds a little sad. Could still pick up one point from the bag. Those are my two actions, right? So I did the one recruit. Yeah, Katara. It has some thematic name in in the uh, in the rule book. I forget what it is exactly. Two points for the Earl or the Earl of Stone for the Citadels on the map. Assembly, they call it. Cool. It's assembly, and then minister actions are parliament. That's what it is. I will use the marshal to move. Don't grab the bag. Let me just grab these all individually. Come over here. All right, shoring up our building defenses. Let's go ahead and use the captain to hit the vagrant. And yeah, go for it. No ambush. Boom, baby. Okay. There's some of that policing. Four mm. hits against vagrant. One more of those probably does it, right? Just thinking for a second here, if I can mm -hmm. do this. Holy shoot! Leader Games rating with sixty-four people. Hello, everyone. Think about that. Yeah. Hey, Joshua. Hey, Patrick. And the coins that they can use for aiding as well. <laughs> I was wondering who was gonna raid. I forgot Leader was streaming. Y'all played Arcs, right? Uh, welcome. We are wrapping up this very interesting double vagabond moles eerie game. Uh, yeah. We're seeing a Vagrant strat working successfully. That's what we decided to call it this stream. Oh, yeah, no. Name, uh, Satchel too. we're still workshopping the name. Six items is still enough to win on the aid. No, 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 because uh, if I get in the forest, then I'll repair first, and I won't disappoint. Yeah, he doesn't lose the items if he uh, if he goes to the forest for recovery. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I still think I just have to commit two battles here. So what I want to do isn't going to matter. Yeah, so what they're discussing right now is the fact that Walrus Law as the Vagrant is on a basically unstoppable uh, trajectory toward victory. Yeah, a next turn win, right? They're going to send Walrus Law to the forest to buy a single turn. But Walrus basically guaranteed wins on the turn he comes out of the forest. Draw and grab the citadels instead. You got Aidgrint? I like Aidgrint. That's pretty cool. Unfortunately, we rolled dice at this yeah, point, so the dice. information has changed. Yeah. Yeah. No. No. Uh, Patrick, black point marker is underneath moles here. All right, let's go ahead and battle again the Vagrant with the Brigadier. Okay. Go for it. Two oh, not bad. Three hits. Oh, I'm definitely in the forest this time. So Still you guys have two items to aid with, though. Uh, one more, yeah, but I, but one two more, two one items. One more battle each. in there with the big brigadier. Sure. Okay. Oh, we're, we're still going. <laughs> we're not done. All right. Every item is damaged. Walrus doesn't have to think anymore. <laughs> oh, how are you guys gonna stop the moles from winning on his next turn? Ooh, table talk starting. Table talk starting. That would have been by letting you win the game, I think. Uh, I mean, you still can. I mean, you have a turn now, and you have next turn. You can still. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, so I will sway the banker with this, this, and this. All right, we're officially going banker. Haven't revealed any craftables 
that would matter for moles at the moment. Oh, Patrick, thank you. <laughs> I think it's, is it a little crazy? I don't know. It's like, you know, I styled it a day ago and I haven't. I return all these to my hand. It's a little messy from that. All right, do we craft anything this turn? Ah, don't make me blush darker. Oh, that might be a next turn for the moles. We'll see. Well, so look at this now, right? Banker plus mayor is five points guaranteed. Yes. Yeah, yeah, never... yeah absolutely. You saying? Plus, all I need to do is build another citadel. That's another three. That's eight. So I need to find one more point to get a victory. Yes. Yeah, I, I hear, I hear you for sure. Crafts, uh, uh, I'll craft saboteurs. It's a little late, but I'm gonna throw the card away anyway. So, did you reveal it? Uh, no, no, mm -mm. no birds were revealed in that uh, swaying or building. Right. Three mouses, a fox, and a rabbit. Esoteric, I think I have enough root shirts to go a week without repeating. And that'll do it. I'm going to pull one card. And I need to discard down. OK, so we did not craft any items. So we're st we still have that one point deficit from our calculation earlier, right? Sheesh. <laughs> I have to imagine we can find Definitely. Five matching cards for Banker, though. Yeah, no Seems doubt. Uh, we have yeah, no, nine cards in hand. I think they're. Um, we're definitely gonna have to find a price of failure option for sure. Yeah, I was thinking about heading that way. And you have the commander, so that that can be pretty huge. And you, you can also that, lighten yeah. up as well. <clears throat> All right, we're in full. We're in full king making mode. Thank you. Because like, yeah. you're, you're not uh, even. Great turn. Yeah, it was a really good turn. Classic moles. Awesome stuff. <laughs> <laughs> scary, man. They're really scary. They're really, They're really scary. scary. I'm going to poop. So. What? I don't okay. think the commander can do it all by himself. I think it definitely. No, I don't, think, I don't think so either. I don't think. Well, there's false order still, so that's an option. Beginning round eight, the big question. And if I'm commander if I'm gonna into... Use... I'm also curious why he didn't craft Sabo, Krakula. Maybe curating card suits for Banker? If you guys are going to attack him, I'll get rid of the mouse partisan and so you'll lose. You'll take less hits. I have Sabo that would... that would be great. Yeah, I mean... That's an interesting deal. ...tours into the bird's turn to allow for policing of the moles. Then well, we'll, need you, we'll need you to help as well. We'll need you to help as well. Yeah, I'm just thinking about how to do that because it makes the false orders less attractive. Because if I go in on seven moles, you can, you know, I you also, can I cannot win. Like if I you go can, in and I take three hits, I go to the forest next turn. I have You can steal one of his cards. Win. You can steal one of his cards. Sure. Okay, cool. That's a good point. That's a good point. That's a good point. So that's one less point he has to win on his next turn. So he'll be down from nine to eight if we don't yeah. destroy buildings and stuff. Yeah, I don't. So yeah, so here's my here's my rhetoric. I love the steel idea. I didn't think about that. I think that's a very good thought. I if I go in there and go swinging with all my swords, I go to the forest. I'm basically out this game. Next round is any of your threes. So I ideally don't want to do that. Do you um, win on this turn without? Well, no, no, I no, I do not. Wait. I I was promising a no win turn on this turn, and I meant it. <laughs> So that's the thing then. Like, if you're not winning this turn, how can you slow him down? That way, uh, you get the chance for your next turn to win. Right. So I have to both hinder him and put myself in a position that allows me to score, which is not battling in that clearing. Yeah, I mean, and, I, I mean, I you think... know that no matter what, the vagrant's going to win on his next turn, right? Correct. Correct. And I, I, I actually agree. Like with, I think with commander, two battles and a false orders, I could deal with. Five, you could go down to eight because on your way you could grab the sword jump not eight i'm sorry seven and then if we get rid of all the uh tunnels he has to spend a card to even dig if he wants to i don't know if he's gonna really need to but um 
Yeah, I don't think you there's a world five, where he needs to dig. Five, three, four, five, six, seven. So you get four. You move four moles out of his. Bro, I don't know. We've been, oh, we've been rolling really low this game. It's true. I mean, that, it's not something I can commit to. Because if I fight there right now, it puts me in a guaranteed losing position. I just will not do that, unfortunately. I will not walk into seven moles and the buildings are well protected. The best option is for the birds who can put a recruit out as well. Like they can get a roost in two on their way as a thought. And like they can still do some scoring, even if they're going to commit that false orders and to doing some battling there. I am just not in that scenario, but I will steal a card for sure. I just got to think about how to do that. And I still have to refresh. And if I age you, how many cards do you have in your hand? Four. Give you the option to do some stuff. You craft for one. I mean, one card you? has to go in my one card has to go in my move if I'm gonna go there. So yeah. I'm only adding either to recruit, battle, Where or build. You? Oh, you're 21. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Does Thief have a pat or a path? Does Thief have a path? Does Thief have a path at all across two turns? Go to eight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see what you're saying. I see what's loading you Go down to here. 12. Grab the sword. Go down to seven. Yeah. At least get a point for the tunnel. Yeah. I might swing if, through on four if I'm going to pass a bird clearing oh, getaway. Yeah. yeah. Pick yeah, up yeah. some, put myself into a better position, but still help with the mole situation. Why? How'd you do that down to four? Do you have four boots? Because I'm calculating Moles' turn. Okay. If you kill Plus I would slip this tunnel, one of the boots. I think that pretty well shuts down Moles' chances. I need my torch. I need the hammer to get the torch. Back. Maybe I was planning that with a steal as well. You don't get a steal and kill that tunnel. That leaves me four, three, so three boots come off. So that's my refresh. I'm going to slip. I'm going to slip into four, expending a boot. Ah, Jeremy, when you watch this back, you do not need to exhaust a boot as part of slip. Uh, I will battle the birds in four here. Do you have an ambush that you would like to play? Though, if you're going to plan on this mole's turn, that might be an ambush save for the bird or for the moles. Unless it's a fox ambush. Then you can use it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Then it won't matter, I guess, but. Uh, do you yeah. want to uh, play Ambush Harriet? No. So this is probably all quests are bunny. Yeah. 2-1? Two, two point battle. I got two here. One, two. I have to damage an item. I will damage one of the boots I expended here today. Uh, That's a shame. If we didn't I will pick up the hammer. If we didn't exhaust that boot, the hammer we could have gone over to seven and wiped that out. Torch. I will expend two boots to move to clearing. Oh, yeah, we're not hostile with moot moles. We can still do that. I'm we're good. I'm going to steal a card from the moles. I think if we kill this tunnel. Just pick from your hand. Okay. That over. Does a very good job of policing moles. I don't think you even need to price a failure, and they will deeply struggle to win. Did you exhaust a sword for that battle? Oh yes, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, and then I will outside of a coins, actually. Uh, no, because we're not in we're not in rabbit. You're in seven. Yeah, seven. And this will make me hostile at this point. Should I age first? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Should eight. Should give him cards? <laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah, uh, you could give that card back. I mean, yeah, that'd be spooky. I almost made a mistake <laughs> take that, there. Take that point. Well, I, like, you I, gotta set yourself up, I like, right? want the one point, but, you know, it's whatever. You should have aided um, me before he went hostile. I did aid you before I went hostile. No, no, no that was like turns ago. It was a long time ago. Don't worry about it. Oh. Uh, and, yeah, I'll do the do the fight here in seven. Uh, do you have an ambush that you would like to play, that you uh, would like to do? No, not, not for you. <laughs> <laughs> Heard making it spooky. Show me 0-0. Zero, 2-1. Zero. Two, one. Hey, two, one. Two, one. That, that looked like it was about to be a 0-0. Zero, zero. 
Um, I will make this item the torch. And that grants me one point for the tunnel. And one point for infamy. No, we're gonna miss this one too. Two there. We're gonna miss this one too, guys. Steel. Two missed points. Ooh. Ooh boy. And that makes me hostile with the moles. F's in chat, everybody. I think that's gonna end up being it. I think Lily records true score and um and registered score just for personal uh records, but the the actual the score in game is what gets logged as data, you know. I have to discard. I'll discard these coins. Right. And I'll discard Master Engravers. Yeah, it's sad to see. Jeremy's played a good game. Missing. And that's it for me. Pass the missing a couple of rules is gonna. Wave the fastest turn in this game. <laughs> <laughs> gonna really bite him in the butt. We slip here. We refresh our items. Yep, evening's rest. Full shebang, everything exhausted and damaged. So it all comes back. Are you gonna sabo? Yes, I'm going to sabo the mouse part. Oh, doing things a little out of order there. Just a wee bit. Saboteur, saboteuring the, uh, the saboteur, the, the saboteurs. Saboteur, the saboteur. <laughs> sab, the sab. Yeah, I'm going to draw so... Wait, hold on. Let me just check my board and make sure things are... Yeah. You evening's rest before drawing, because not even that, not even that can be, can be hurt by sending the vagabond to the forest. The big question now on everyone's minds is what does Harriet do? Getting rid of this. Getting rid of a fox ambush. Listen. Because moles have been well policed, but not definitively policed, I think we can say. Moles still have a, a path. All of these rolls, brother. <laughs> Incredible. It's just a lot harder than it was, I think. I had a great time. It's been a fun this game. Has been, yeah, this has been good. Um, okay, so I don't want you. False orders. Um, Go for Dom just to affect Lily's pie chart. Right, exactly, Katari. The reason I ask what does Harriet do is because Eerie is 100% out. I don't think there's any world where Eerie wins at this point. So Eerie has no obligation to do anything, no incentive to do anything. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay. And then put this there. The question is. Tripling up on battle. Thinking this. I roll low. It's a build on the risk. way. You got a risk. You got a risk. It's though. a risk. Going for the build. It's a risk. If I roll high, I turmoil. Man, not you better I, hope not that I'm even in this game to win, anyways. I really hope you just have like an ambush to protect from his ambush. <laughs> I think it's sitting in my, like, my head right now. Uh, what's Moles' path? One, two. And you should. You should definitely consider putting that in the build. You have two moves, so that means you're only going to take those five birds, I assume, from six. Yes. Yeah, I have to take all One of them. gets left behind in the mouse to build, and then you have four warriors. You ha you would have to be able to protect from an well, ammo. I think Moles' path is killing two roosts, scoring for the two buildings, and then bankering. Oh no, we're still one short then. Well, I'm just suggesting that if the other placement is recruit instead, you take all six, you get... Well, you'd only get two points. Yeah, I see, the, I see where you're coming from fuck that's tough it's i mean the four oh and riley thank you for the 13 months wicked risky 
I see that you can bang. I think Moles' path would be killing all three roosts. Two points for the buildings and bankering for four. Yeah, I think that works out. One, two, three, four, five. I have to do this first. Yeah. And I think it's theoretically doable with perfect rolls. <laughs> yeah, so easy, so easy. <laughs> yeah, and it's three, three. Like I said, I think there is a path that exists, albeit one that is not no likely. Right, right, right. Okay. And there, the no. birds are back in there, so it could have been picked up. But I want to stick with this. This is what I want to do. All right, we are officially building as area, which potentially makes the mold job easier if the buildings don't get cracked. Biscuit for the biscuit. <laughs> Never yeah. does. Point. Um, it's 50 50. It happens or it doesn't. Hey, hey. If Eerie just rolls zero zero twice. Are the two turns my heart has been beating the quickest. I see a mole win. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, battle in this is brutal. I'll withdraw the suspense. I was I got no ambush for you there. Alright, no ambush is big. All those two two? That's a three two. Oh, that's crazy. He two, lose two. three. Oh yeah, three two. I lose two. I think I think moles officially lose now because even on a zero zero, that's defenseless plus commander. Scenario here, you roll a one, and then that's a second potential. No, because it's his it's his turn next. So I guess no. Even all if three even if you roll, zero. I think he's only going to cause one press of failure. I think that's rip for the moles. Oh, that's true because commander. Yeah, 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 so. yeah. If they spend an ambush, they're down a card, and that's one point they lose, you know? No ambush again. No, no ambush. <laughs> That'd have been spooky. That would have been the hilarious, best move right? yeah. in the world. <laughs> Oof. Big rolls. Big brain plays. Big rolls. Hugest brain. <laughs> Your brain's so wrinkly, dude. <laughs> one, two. All right, so that's a random card three. and a price of failure. Go ahead and just, uh, um, you can take a random. Just, just We've had teensy rolls almost all game. The dice. Finally woke up. Oh, well. I lose the Earl of Stone. What did I pull? Heard. And then I will. <sighs> nice. Worked out. Hell yeah. Three that means you're in a guaranteed win position. If somehow Vagrant doesn't win, that's the uh, shit we like to see. Here you pull it off. Yeah. <clears throat> Vagrant still has it on their next turn, unfortunately, but say la vie. Yeah, yeah to, I'm not going to get to if, another turn, but. Yeah. If, I get, if I can get to where I need to go, then maybe. But you guys have made it. Yeah, if, it's, if it's got a colorful hand. Yeah, I mean, that is the thing. We have now. There's moles up here at one. Yeah, the moles at one are the problem. Yeah, but he needs. Great fox, like five fox or bird. Uh, no. It depends only on needs... what moles do this turn. Exactly, Colonel. Exactly. Yeah. No. Mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if the moles, you could prevent another vagrant turn potentially if you move <laughs> the moles from one down. I mean, whatever you got to do to, if you can win, it's a different story entirely. But if right. you want to potentially buy yourself another turn, moving. Those moles from one to somewhere else without digging. Think, like leaving at this point, you gotta you gotta play to win because you know we can yeah just, yeah you, know, you can you, because we see the birds are gonna win as well. So you know you can't yeah. just. I'm no longer in first place. <laughs> you, you don't necessarily yeah. know that I have a bad hand that you think I do. Yeah, I'm just wondering. If oh I'm yeah, that's true. Yeah, it doesn't good. like right now. It's a king make on the vagrant youth vagrant or eerie. I don't know if I can. I really don't think I have seven or eight points here. Eight points. Yeah, just, I just needed a second to think this through. Yeah, yeah. yeah take your time. Yeah, uh, Linen Master, I agree. I think that's a very big brain play. It would be consolidating your moles in a suit that you think Vagrant wouldn't have. 
I don't know what the odds of that would be, but that that means statistically you're you're angling that vagrant can't pull off the aid. And that's that's a low investment policing from moles cuz you just have to do a couple moves, you know. Not a huge deal with whatever else you're doing, presumably. Yeah, and moving all the moles to the south, that's also pretty good policing. Just because then Vagrant has to reach you. Yeah, I can't. I don't think I can come up with the nine points here. Let's but that's the thing. I, now... All right, so put one on the burrow. Can moles put themselves in a position to win on their next turn? And by having a next turn, that means they have to somehow deny Eerie a victory in addition to denying Vagrant a victory. And that seems like a tall order. Seems like a very tall order. Hey, props to Harriet for putting themselves in a solid position for victory. <laughs> a solid position for victory on their next turn. While also, you know, policing to the left. I think it just enables Walrus to win, but it's pretty good domino policing in practice while still playing for victory. And a dig. I'm going to marshal move here. BFCR, Walrus Law, types into chat. Uh, use captain to attack the birds in six. Back, got it. It was a mistype of back. <laughs> I was like, what strange acronym is this? I'll use um, Brigadier on 11 to battle you there. Okay. Ooh, birds have an ambush. Man. <laughs> oh, man. No knives, no knives. Oh, two, two. Well, that just became a juicy clearing. Voice the vagabond right there. <laughs> Does that change anything for Thief? That's that's a four-point clearing. We're at 22. That takes us up to 26. Yeah. Two or three of your moles into that clearing, so the Vagabond just doesn't get like an easy two extra points from your, your tunnel. Yeah, I can, I can move. Um, using Mayor, I can do the Brigadier again for moving. Never mind. We're protecting it. We're protecting it. And I will move these guys down here. Keep going. And I will use... Get him away from Vagrant. So that's that. And I'll use Banker. This was a very good game, PJ Darker. It really was. Score two points. Four rabbit cards in your hand. That's crazy. Yeah, the price of failure kind of. Yeah, I made some mistakes in the last turn. So, all right, I will draw one card and I will pass my turn. All right, thank you. Yeah, chat. Do we think it's better to have moved from one to ten instead of one to nine, just to consolidate cl uh, clearing suits? <laughs> I think there's a pretty strong argument to that, and I think it's a pretty easy to miss exploding action. Hmm. 
optimization, I should say, an easy to miss optimization. What do I refresh here? What do I refresh here? Yeah, like the counter argument is exactly that, Dan's, is mouse is probably what Walrus is most likely to have stacked up on due to this. Uh Due to this, eight points. Ah, Elevaris, good point. Vagrant can always move the warriors. Of course, the downside is every action that you have to spend not aiding is an action that's potentially spent not winning. But yeah, the, the allied movement is maybe enough to be fine. Gosh, I I forgot just how dang good allied is. Fuck. Only needs three aids, right? <laughs> yeah, ETO. I think I think after doing some policing or you know points chasing, uh, I think moles didn't have the actions to just run away. And yeah, you can shove stuff items, so track stuff doesn't matter anymore, Grigula. I agree. Um, it's, yeah, it's, it's. It's looking pretty good for Walrus Law here. Allied is so busted, it is. He could also have a coin in hand. We still have one that hasn't been crafted. And I don't think we've seen all of the coin cards. We have had a deck cycle as well. I can find six. Uh, it doesn't take all of his movement, does it? Slip into this forest, move out of it, move to whatever you need. Same thing over here. Two boots. You're not hostile with anybody. Sword. <sighs> and you can only pick up uh, hostility points in battle, right? I can't get them with strike. That's correct. Yeah, it has to be in battle, not with yeah. the it's, That's what I thought. And that movement capability is only possible in addition to the two boots because you can move from forest to forest it's with slip. It's not used for infamy. Yeah. Infamy. yeah. <laughs> Insane. Mm -hmm. Insane. Poor Jeremy. Imagine, imagine if he was at 24. Just thinking about my items. Thank you for your patience, everyone. Let's look at the quests, just to look at something. Guard duty. Expel mm. bandits, fend off a bear. Not great. Yeah, super not toxic game. <laughs> super not toxic. Uh, craftable items are a bag and a coins. We haven't watched the replay with chat yet. <laughs> I know, I'm excited. I'm excited to see it. We only have one hammer. The shit moles oh. play. Oh, I can wait. I can wait. I can see it. Fair enough. They have, they have all played well. Uh, we love chat. We love chat. Um, to finish the uh, the crafting thought, uh, Thief only has one hammer, so of those two items, it can only craft the bag. If I'm a lucky man, I win this game on this turn, but only nice. if I'm lucky. Oh, Jeremy sees a path. So let's start thinking about it. 
our last turn. If we complete, if I'm lucky, it all yeah. it revolves around the quest. Deck. I was about to say it's probably the the mouse quest. Mm, yeah. One, two, three, four. One. Gosh, I would have to. I I need to grab my quest deck again so I can start looking through it during the game. Oh man, if you win via the quest deck, that'd be insane. <laughs> oh, I wouldn't be mad. I <laughs> wouldn't be mad. <laughs> uh, good question, Sandbox. Questing alone. Eerie has a couple items to pick up. If I'm lucky, the maximum I can get is seven. Is the final mouse quest fend off a bear? I don't recall. I don't have the quest deck memorized well enough. Oh, you know what? It doesn't matter because I can't. And fend off a bear is this one for reference. Sad. So we would have to aid the, t the crossbow off of Eerie. We would have to expel bandits as our bunny quest. Is there another option? I get two if I go up there. That means we stay where we are. We expel bandits. We move. Move. No, because we, oh yeah, there's Eerie there. So we aid Eerie with the hammer. No. We ate Eerie with uh, a bag or a tea or something. Uh, we repair the torch. We fend off a bear. Doesn't look like it. Damn! It shouldn't even be necessary for the calculation that we exhaust to slip because we should stay in place. I think we're exactly where we need to be. To 11 for sure. Good point out. Roost? Because there's a roost in 11. Spend two. 11's the place we want to be. There's Eerie there and it's Mouse. I lose a sword. So we quest in either seven or six. Be able to get. To churn the quest deck, reveal the, the Mouse quest, move to 11. I really don't think I can do it. I don't see another combo. We have three boots. Quest draw that could get me there. <sighs> we have three boots, yeah. So we can either stay in place one boot to three, two boots to 11, or we can slip to three, one boot to six, two boots to 11. These three rabbit guards are pissing me off. I know, <laughs> I know. <laughs> and that's, is that, I didn't count the points. Is that the points? One, two, three, four, one. Where do we get another three points though? I spend the boot, I boot. I can't boot again. I can't leave this space. I need the torch to complete the quest. I can't steal for anything valuable. If we kill the roost for two, which quests are we doing? Because I, can find my eight. I don't think that I can because we can't do either guard duty or fend off a bear. They're mutually exclusive with the mouse quest. Okay, I need eight points. So we have to expel bandits. We could we could aid Eerie twice, pick up this sword. Not being able to do it. Eerie has a sword in addition to the crossbow, so we aid them twice, battle the roost for two points. We're still short one though, right? That still takes us to 29. Slip, boot, boot. Yeah, I could get there to nine. Yeah, or 11, either or. Yeah, I mean, there's two. nothing to do about him, so it's, I think yeah, one. Yeah. You can do it. Yeah. One, two, three, four. I have like three mouse or three rabbits. Yeah. Because the burbs, the burbs are looking pretty strong. If I'm... Yeah, I mean, it comes down to the missed points in addition to the RNG of the quest deck They're pretty high. and having the right cards to aid. If he, if he chooses to. He chooses the quest. He could also help you out with quests as well, and you only might need two. Yeah, I mean, he doesn't. I don't think he has the capability of pulling two roosts off anyway, right? So no matter what, I think no, the yeah, birds are going to have it in the end, right? So the yeah, so pulls, it's full sends into roost or does everything he can to get as much points. as he can. It's also true, ETL. Things. To... Yeah, it, it's tragic in this perspective, but we wouldn't be in this game state would have to draw if they to... if they'd scored the points. The mouse it's never as clear as just left in being like, oh, I'd have more points. Which would give me five. And then I can't make up the other three because I don't have swords or the capability to aid. Yeah, I think I'm just going to have to play this like I need another turn. So 
So I'm going to... And I don't even know if the... <laughs> Nico. I, I don't even know if exhausting the swords for slip or the boots for slips um, matters at this point. Because we've, we've refreshed everything we need to for this turn. I can't no think if it mattered on previous turns. Maybe it did. They need for the two points. Oh, for yeah, sure. that's true. There's like no uh, toughest. Yes, you can aid a hostile faction. You just don't score points for it, but you can still do it. Yeah, and no, or the vagrant in this case. It's best to think of the relationship track as completely reactive to the aid action, which is independent of the relationship track. Oh, you don't have the one that I need. Yeah, that's the one that's left. Fuck! If I had those two boots, I could have maybe did it, but because then I wouldn't have to move again. It does constrict options. It's true. All the ones left need torches or coins, and I don't have any coins. If I just quested a little bit sooner, I might have been able to do it. I will slip into... Wait. Two, one. I guess I just try for it. Uh, I think that I'm actually not going to slip because that would give me oh but I need the crossbow fuck here's the thing I don't need the boots so I am going to slip I'm going to slip into the woods I don't need the boots for any quests I'm going to spend a repair on a torch I'm going to spend two boots to move into clearing 11. I'm going to aid the burbs with a T. Um, pick up the crossbow by giving them this. Here's your card by your decree. Which mouse quest did Warriors complete escort? We're sure that the last mouse fend off a bear. And then... I only ask because it seems like Jeremy's calculating for a different... I mean, we're not in Bunny anyway. I don't, I don't know what the plan... I don't know what we're doing. So which one of these do I want to complete? I have to burn... The strike only gives me one, so I have to battle. I will battle the birds in 11. No ambush. Uh, do you have an ambush that you would like to play? No. Oh, okay. Uh, that all gave me two points, putting me at 24. Six points left. I don't think we've seen a qu crossbow quest done, correct? Expend the boot. Let me just double check here. Oh, fuck me, actually. Say la vie. You just saw the sword. Hmm? Never mind. <laughs> sword on your board, yeah. Absolutely fucked me. Yeah, that would have did it. I wasn't even looking at your board. Choke. No, that works. makes me sad. Poor Jeremy. Uh, I will... Played a good game. I forgot you crafted that. Oh, God. End games are so yeah. tough, man. They really are. That makes me sad. I think I could have won. Fuck. All right. I will boot to move over into this. I will expend uh, the torch and the crossbow to complete this rabbit quest. Mm, that wasn't going to do it. It wasn't the mouse quest anyway. It wasn't the mouse quest anyway. One point. And then... I think that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Feels less bad, yeah. Uh, that would have been heart wrenching, hard. you know. And that's gonna be it for me. All right, Wallers, show us the dub. <laughs> he's, got it. he's got it. He's got it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it pretty way though. The pretty way. Oh, can't just win. Has to has to dab on him too. Yeah. Three points. Ah. Uh. Mm, I would not. Eh, I can't do it that pretty way, so I'm just gonna go slip. Then we'll go 
will slip in yarn. We're not slip, but we're a boot. We will craft coins. Did have the coins. <laughs> Did have the coins. And one aid that does it. And we'll do an aid for the dub. Well played, man. There it is. Jeez, guys. Well played all around. G jeez. Great game, everyone. Great game. Congratulations, Walrus, for the Aidgrint win. We're calling it Aidgrint now. We decided during the stream. <laughs> but yeah, great game all around, everybody. You all did great. Thank you so much for playing. I cannot wait to see all of you play in round two. Uh, and everyone watching, thank you so much for watching. Uh, we have another game tonight at, I want to say, 7 p.m. Eastern time. That sounds right. That looks right. Uh, so we will see you all then. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good one.